Uh, hello. 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 Okay. Fancy meeting you here. What a surprise. Who hello. Thunk it. On a Monday. On a Monday. On a Monday, On a Monday yes. like this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, friends, and welcome to Gut Punch RP, a tabletop role playing stream channel focused on inclusivity in gaming spaces as well as charity. And very exciting. Last week, we busted that $2,000 goal. And so I uh, upped it up to like $3,000. So let's go. Let's, let's go. Oh, um, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's going on the playlist now. I didn't even realize that. We have to. Yeah. Yeah. We have to. All right, all right, all right. Get a little Fergie on there. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Um, yeah, so Charity. Yeah, you can type exclamation point donate, and that'll take you to a link to our ongoing Tiltify event where we're raising money for I Need Diverse Gaming as well as explanation point charity to find out more about this amazing organization. Additionally, if you choose to donate, you should do so every month because, you know, you get to increase your likelihood of winning lovely dice sets that go out to random donors. Just so you're aware, we use the money that comes into the, the uh, channel for um, subs and bits go back into the channel they do things like buy the prizes that we frequently give out on said channel as well as other things to make your viewing and listening experience better um in addition we are sponsored by tabletoploot.com you can type exclamation point tabletop loot into the channel and use the code gut punch rp uh in order to save yourself on uh checkout uh, we are also sponsored by Dungeons Gate, who is an amazing um, Midwest gaming store. You can use the code GutPunchRP there on your online store to save yourself 10% on checkout. Uh, that excludes already on sale items. They do dope sales frequently, like almost every weekend. They do an amazing sale um, for this evening. We will be giving away uh, another one of these cool little dragon dice. And as a kicker cost, I tossed in some matching dice that are very flamey Ooh, and no. sparkly and cool. I fucking they're, like they're it. They're super nice. dope. It's, well, you could get those from tabletoploot.com. You could use the Oh, code is that what those are? Yeah. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Synergy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'm on my fire dice bullshit lately. Yeah. 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 Um, if you would like to support us in ways that don't include uh, monetary giving away of your funds into funds that go to charity or to this channel, that's totally cool. Being here is all that we ask. Doing things like interacting with us on social media, retweeting the go live tweet, it really does help. I promise you, it really, really, really does help. Doing things like watching all of our content on YouTube because we put all of our content on YouTube, interacting with said content on YouTube, doing things like leaving a comment on the thing, giving it a like, subscribing to the channel. All of these things can help our channel continue to do what we do all the time. Maybe do more things on the channel and all that fun stuff. I don't know why I'm talking like this. This is just a thing that is happening right now. Um, if you have joined us for the first time, welcome. This is our ongoing D&D 5th edition homebrew campaign, Laurel Wind. We play this game every Monday. Uh, additionally, we have two other shows that are ongoing. Uh, this week is Cowboys Week, so come Yeehaw. back on Thursday Yeehaw. where our very own elegant feather duster will be taking us through the arcane west, if you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that? Like that? <laughs> just, just spitballing here. Yeah. Mysteries <laughs> abound. You can find us every other Friday in Darkness Rising, uh, which is kicking off to be a pretty dope little show. Uh, getting a little exciting, getting cool little group dynamics going. So like, check them out. It's fun. It's fun. Um, okay. Uh, I think think i think that's all of my announcement-y type things so without further ado let's jump into a recap 
Previously on Laurelwind, our group of intrepid adventurers has been navigating their way through a perilous dungeon in order to eventually find and defeat the great and powerful Osmadius. On our last episode, after seemingly stopping a ritual that was being conducted um, by a group of uh, cultists that were acting kind of odd, um, our group took a short rest. They, excuse me, pardon, pardon. They went uh, back to the large door that was behind a de necrotic uh, shroud or curtain uh, teeming with necrotic energy. Oh no, those purple glowy uh, ractandy weird things uh, dropped down on them when they went back. Um, and at the end of the fight, the group threw the carcass at the curtain uh, and then was blasted with uh, anything within 60 feet was blasted with necrotic energy. Um, from there, they descend into the shadow fell, noticing a, um, a lack of color in their surroundings, similar to when they descended into the tower, oh, so long ago in real lifetime, but in our adventurer's time, not as long ago. Um, <laughs> the they follow the path uh, of the dungeon noting that the dungeon appears to be spiraling in upon itself um they happen upon a room that had two altars that speak of memories of the past and by and the ties that bind people to those memories and how sometimes remembering can unlock those findings and then they venture forth come across some vampire spawns that drop from the ceiling um after felling the vampire swan spawns not the vampire swans that would be dope though i don't want it <laughs> <laughs> um our adventurers take a short rest um they find a room with an arch um that describes in primordial that only a shadow can unlock the gate and when investigating the room annabelle hears a familiar voice inside her head telling her that she's not ready for that um and then our party eventually dead ends into a pair of double doors when attempting to unlock said doors uh a ass or a, a Basically, a bucket of acid came splashing, crashing down to the ground. Um, our group was able to see inside the room to tell that there were a number of broken coffins and wood scattered all over the floor. Um, there were three open coffins and two closed. Uh, as far as our adventurers could tell, there was nothing on the ceiling. Um, and that there was a chest across the room from them. And with that, I may have set up the thing wrong, but let's go ahead and jump over to roll 20. <laughs> Not these coffins. No, I did it right. Two closed, three open, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go me working on memory. Um... All right. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and like, I kind of put you where I thought maybe you were, but if that is not the case, go ahead and rearrange your characters. Yeah, because we hadn't stepped in yet, correct? Right. Or, yeah. No, so, yeah. If I recall correctly, we were kind of peering in the door going, oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, can you please remind me, is the room dark? The room is dark. Okay, so we're kind of looking like the, the light from the door or from whatever light source we're carrying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, nope, I can't see anything. No, is it worth Shh. looking for magic? There's three things in here. Right? Uh, Shia, you can see. There are three open 
caskets at least. Um, it could be anywhere. Are we casting some light on the situation, or are we uh, gonna hold hands here? Or should we just, I don't know, Sheer, can you just like, do you have anything that can like blow it up? Me and I can throw a fireball into the room. Is that what we're doing? Coming in hot. (laughs) Can I flick up, can I, can I flip up to tech magic? Can I see any magical things in here? I Um, am also... Just raising my hand, waiting for someone to stop me. <laughs> so very Scotty scary, steps though. to the side and gets out of range. Of him, <laughs> uh, you do not see anything. Well, actually, let me look something up real quick. Are we assuming that the empty ones are the ones we already fought, or that all of these contain something? I mean, it was three of them earlier, right? Oh, Remember um, that correct? I think you are. Uh, worst case scenario, we end up with a very hot room. Uh, you Is will there... see a magical item uh, inside the chest across the room. There's something in there. All the way through. Annie. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll just, like, t- I'll just it? take over, take a step over so I can see it. And then, yeah, I'll fire off a fireball into the middle of the room, pretty much. So it's 35 feet from the chest, but gonna hit. Yeah, well, what did you say? Like, please don't hit the... Uh, yeah, we can aim around the chest. Yeah, I'm going to, like... As I fire it off, just be pulling the door shut. <laughs> I'll step away from <laughs> Yeah, like... Mm. Really, are we holding the door shut, or are we just closing the door and Just, going? like, fire it, and I close it. I take, like, a couple few steps back. And I'm gonna hold more. an Eldritch Blast for yeah, some Yeah, I'm, minute. like, I'm gonna at least Draw put my, my weapon out. Yeah. yeah. Sky will pull out her hammer. Charge it up. <laughs> Wait for the smoldering sound to end, hopefully. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're we're listening, the... but we're listening to the sound of, of a nice Whoosh. campfire. <laughs> yeah. Fireball uh, is just... what? 16 dex save. No, 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 no. Uh, size. And 20 foot radius. Oh, shit. 20 foot. Yeah, I would move it. Um, so it's hitting all three of those ones and the f- closed one up top. Sorry. Hang on. I was mismeasuring. And D is expecting us to know the difference between a radius and a diameter, and the information left my brain just now. <laughs> Who needs geometry? Oh, yeah. Diameter all Fair the way across, me. radius halfway across. I failed trig. I'm going to be real with you. Mm, I did really well at geometry. So that would be it's a- for you. Or I can do calc, though. Don't ask me to do calc. Don't ask me to do fake numbers. Right? So no. Would... No, never. All of us. We never went to art school. It, never will. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's true. Alright. So you're wanting it uh, there? You might be able to get both closed. I mean, yeah, Yeah. that circle seems large, but yes, if I can hit like five more feet towards the chest then hit that other coffin too sure yeah let's do that well that's a 40 foot uh diameter so mm-hmm. yeah that's the right size then so you're wanting it this big here what? beautiful beautiful all right yeah okie dokie so it's a 16 dex Saving throw. Let's roll a shit ton of dice, I guess. Oh my goodness, this is. Yeah, what a way to start off an episode. I know. I, I, I feel like some fiery I was. I feel really like they're behind say. us. They're right behind us. Oh, we've got our 
our weapons drawn, so hopefully. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, get some some Elmo spam going. There we go. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Love to see it. <laughs> uh, 17, 20, 26 points of fire damage. Hang on. Uh, That's good. That's good. What was the save? 16 decks. Okay. Only one of them will save. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. They take half on a save, or am I crazy? They take half mm -hmm. on a save. Yes. Nice. Oh, that is... We awaken all the mimics, though, that were the coffins. <laughs> <laughs> the teeth appear, and the coffins start going. <laughs> mimics like are the, not the, the a lid thing is in this kind of... campaign. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, they could be. You never know, man. <laughs> I, I fully trust you and the monster noise to make a mimic absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there it is. That's yeah. it. Okay. That's it. Um, Here, be clipping. How much did you say was the damn mouse? 28? Feels right. It's, yeah, that sounds right. I already started touching things in my dice tray. Um, then half. Uh, 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 four. That guy. So a fireball goes off, and from the ceiling, you hear a, you know, high pitched kind of hissing screech coming out. And roll the initiative. Okay. Don't fuck me. Don't fuck me. Not today. Ooh, you know, I think I'm just getting my bad rolls out of the way uh, ahead of time. Get them out of the way. Get them out of the way. Yep. Uh, 25 to 20. 21. Uh, 19 to 15. Yeah. 14 to 10. 12? Wow. Wow, guys. Oh, no, y'all. Coming in hot. Oh, no. Squad. Advantage now, dude. Squad. <laughs> <laughs> I got an eight. Uh, oh. Six. Oh. <laughs> this guy's lost. Vikings, come I rolled on. A three and a four. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> All right. Yep. Top of the round. Annabelle, what are you doing? I am going to hope that my dog stops barking first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> there he goes. Then <laughs> I am going to, uh, I'm going to peek my head. I'm going to just open the door first off to see what I'll see what I can see in there. All right. Well, you see vampire spawn uh, on the ceiling now that it's lit up and you can accurately see them. Um, and then just inside the door, you see on either side two vampire spawns. So you see a grand total of six in the room. Okay. Ooh. Then I will wait, six, go ahead. Where's the sixth? So oh, wait, yeah. One, two, three, four... Five. Oh, oh, I oh, I oh is that, is that number a different four one? is not there. Yeah, we can't see no, no, it. Yeah, oh, hang invisible. On, hang on, hang yeah on. it's not visible to us. It's, yeah, sorry, that, that was, was like a little bit. You're still, fine. It's still on the GM layer. Hang on. Yeah. Here, Odin, oh, they can go oh, invisible now. There you yeah, go. I was, I was <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> I thought I had clicked on okay. all of them. Oh, cool. Moved them over. Then, in that case, I will. Uh, I will fire off my crossbow, my my little plus one crossbow at the one that I got the cleanest shot at, which looks like this one, our recently invisible one. Um, 
and that will be a uh, 18 to hit. That'll hit. Awesome. Then that's going to do uh, 10 points of damage. All right. And then I will kind of scoot away from the door so that my friends can get through. All right. <laughs> No. Ah! It's coming out the door like that. Ah! Ah! No grass. That's terrible. Agree. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Ah. Hey, at least we're flanking them. Mm. True. Oh no. No. Well, no, technically we're not. But to kill one of them to get to that point. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Then don't Do they look charred? Uh, the ones that just rushed Homestead. out, no, because they were not did not get hit at all. Ah, um, damn. So one's gonna attack uh, Bjorn, and the other is going to attack Sullen. Rude, baby bird. No, incredibly rude. So against Sullen. Uh, ooh. Um, do 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 do. That'll be a Ooh. twenty-one and a twenty-one to hit. That super hits. Okay, so oh. it will slash out at, with its claws. Or just kidding. Uh, it will grapple you, and then no. it will bite. Okay, is it two hits it on is. just me? Yes. Okay. But for its first hit, it will not do damage, it will do grapple. And okay. then you take nine points of piercing damage. Okay. And then six points of necrotic damage reduced to three. Okay. And uh, your maximum health HP is also reduced by three. And then the two against Bjorn uh, cool, 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 cool. That is a 19 and a 21 to hit. That'll do it. So you are grappled. Okay. And it'll chompy chompy with five points of piercing damage and six points of necrotic damage, reducing max HP. All right. Scotty, do you want to use your reaction? Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> I was mathing. Scotty would like to hit it. Not to oh. not to meta and put it in, in but I assumed it was No, coming. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, she takes a swing and oh, oh, that is a 26. Oh, yeah, that'll hit. I need one. I'm, I'm math table charts. Uh, thirteen bludgeoning and two lightning. is your go. Uh, all right. Uh, Sheer is going to scream a little and then take a couple steps back, though. It shouldn't be on the move one. A couple steps back this way while pulling out her viola and just say, I do hope it's night and start playing. And then like spectral ghosts are going to come up around her, start swirling, and she's just going to point as the melody continues to ring out and cast dissonant whispers on the one holding sullen. All right. Uh, what kind? Of, that's charisma save. 
That will be a wisdom saving throw of 16. Okay. It's an 18. Uh, okay, so it still will take some damage, I guess. It'll be nine points of damage halved. Psychic damage. Sorry, guys. Move. Good move. No, it's a good no. move. <laughs> yeah. Uh, never. Sullen, it are your go. Okay, uh, I am going to use my action to try and break this grapple. Okay, you can um, either use uh, acrobatics or athletics. Let's see which one is better. Uh, that's going to be acrobatics. Uh, going to try and be real slippery bird right now. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. That's an eight, <laughs> which is not very good. You're... However unable to break free from the group it's, it's like digging yeah, it's, its claws in okay um in that case uh may i use my bonus action to cast a spell yeah okay uh i'm gonna go ahead and just pull up uh like kind of out from my back i'm gonna pull a bunch of uh little feathers uh and they're gonna do the usual swirly thing uh and start shredding this thing to pieces uh with a spiritual weapon all right uh cool 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 so that is a ooh natural 19 plus 7 to hit so that's a 26 hell yeah that hits um and that's gonna be <laughs> uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven points of uh, force damage. Nice. Solid. Um, can I perceive whether or not these are considered undead? Oh yeah, these are undead. You've you've fought them okay. before. You, they, I thought so. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I, I am uh, selling to and math lady meme and is gonna end his turn. <laughs> <laughs> Bjorn. Uh Okay, first off, bonus action, rage. What up? Uh, just gonna take care of that. And I am actually gonna use my action to activate my protection from evil and good amulet, uh, which means that all of the attacks from... I can read you that spell if you need it. But basically, they have disadvantage. Mm -hmm. uh, I also cannot be charmed, frightened, possessed, etc. Uh, however, I believe that's my whole action. Uh, and I can't move to do the grapple, so I think that's my turn. And Scotty. Uh, Scotty's gonna shout out, Solon, how you doing? Uh. <laughs> are you where you wanna be? Like, <laughs> are you in a good place physically? Am I ever in a good place physically and emotionally? I'm all right, actually, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Just Do hit you them, want me to physically move you? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, she will charge up her hammer then, hit this one in front of her. I love Scotty so much. I love her. <laughs> okay. That is, uh, da, 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 something, uh, 23 to hit. That'll hit. And a, uh, not so great, a nine. Uh, that will miss. Okay. So that is, that is, you are lightning, you are lightning, you are bludgeoning. Uh, eight, nine, ten, ten lightning, and seven bludgeoning. And actually, since there is another baddie within five feet of that baddie, the lightning from the hammer sparks up and zaps the other one four. Ooh! Max lightning for nine lightning to the one in front of Annabelle, please. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's Scotty. And speaking of Annabelle, sure go. Great! I'm gonna stab this one in front of me. <laughs> Try to get it to let go of Sullen. And that's going to be a dirty 20 to hit. 
Thank you, goons. With my, with my rapier. Excellent. And then... Ooh! Oh, that's a good roll. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, then that's going to be... Uh, 31 points of damage. Ooh, hoo, hoo. spicy. Oh, spicy. And then offhand with my dagger. All right. For a natural 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then that's going to be a big fat seven points of damage. I mean, it's looking pretty rough. I'm seeing it. And that's it. That's it for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll stay put. That's it. Um, all right. At the start of their turn, you see this like oh, no. magical shimmer go across them, and it's very familiar to all of you all. It's almost like when Sullen casts a healing spell and they all no! regain <laughs> 10 points. I'm foolery. All right. Scotty, who has not seen this. What the hell? <laughs> You've never seen Sullen Hill once. <laughs> <laughs> the Laura Bailey of the campaign. <laughs> Heal only under duress. Um, and then... Are you unconscious? No heals for you. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Walk it off. <laughs> Throw some dirt in it. Who do you think this is? Malcolm, come on. God damn it. <laughs> ah, hell. Ah, hell. Crawling across the ceiling. Ah, and he's no. dropping oh, that's down. Not These aren't good words. On whom? On whom? That's some, some bullshit. Sure. Uh huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Don't like that. Mm -mm. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I just there's something about like the the conditioned fear response when they move real fast across the map in World Twenty, where I'm like, oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. It's, like the speedy drag is like it's like the uh -huh. speedy zombie like. <laughs> yeah. 28 days later over here. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> against, uh, first attack against Sheer. Uh, that will be a 21 to hit. You are now grappled. Second attack against Sheer. Bite. That is 23 to hit. I'm about it. That's uh, only six points of piercing damage and nine points of necrotic damage, which reduces your max HP. All right, all right. Neat, neat. Love it a lot. The second one will attack Sheer as well. Um, and we'll hit with claws. Where are my D4s? Uh, that's eight points of slashing damage. And then the bite attack is a natural 19. Healed! Uh, oh, no, natural 19, so that will be a so 25 to hit. What did you say? I got so excited that I could finally, like, stop something with the shield, but it was not yeah. stoppable. Uh, so that'll be six points piercing damage. And four points of necrotic damage which also reduces max hp okay all right against sullen because you are 
already grappled, so the claw attack. Uh, it's probably gonna miss. Uh, it's a 17? No, 16. Math. Okay, 16 does miss. 17 meets it. Um, and that means the 18 for the bite will beat it. Okay. Which is... I'm gonna... I'm gonna hiss at it as a free action. <laughs> Absolutely. Hissing always welcome. Uh, six points of piercing, and then um, seven reduced to three necrotic damage, also reducing max HP. Against, uh, because Scotty hit it this time, it's gonna try, well, no, it's already grappling Bjorn, so it'll mm -hmm. hit it. Bjorn, the, fr the claw attack will miss. And this is with disadvantage. Uh, so it would be a straight roll. <gasps> Just kidding, because it's okay. okay. Oh yeah. So sorry, I was rolling that incorrectly. Hang on, let me do this again. We'll keep the claws the first mit this, and then at disadvantage, uh, that's two thirteens. So that would be a total of uh nineteen to hit. Uh, yes, that'll hit. That is. Uh, nine points of piercing damage reduced to four because you're four. raging. Raging. Yep. Love to see it. And then, uh, that is mathing. Um, six points of necrotic damage. Does your ra Raje do anything against necrotic? Yes, it does. Okay, so th all damage. Three points of necrotic, which also reduces your max HP. Roger that. Thank you, thank you. All right. I mean, you know, not thank you, but a <laughs> scene. <laughs> and Sheer, it's your go. Oh, God, I'm so ill prepared for everything that is happening. Um,. And I would like to <laughs> I am going to go ahead and Bane all four of these guys. And that is gonna be a charisma save of 16 for all four of them. Good call, good call, good call. Um, they all failed, so... Okay, that is okay. Excellent. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, so they will have that uh, minus D4 to their attacks and saving throws. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, I don't need... God, why? Okay, yeah, that was... The cheer is just, like, thrashing a little bit. Um, and... As a bonus action, we'll be, like... Uh, get out of there, Sullen, and grant you Bardic Inspiration. That's so, a d6, cool. right? Thank you yeah, very much. Yeah, that'll be a d6 on one of those things. Ability check, okay. attack roll. Okay. Alright. Speaking of Sullen. Fun to buy. Um... Uh, awesome. Frickin' rad. Okay, he's gonna look at Sheer and it's gonna look at Bjorn, and it's gonna, like, sort of look at all the f nasties, uh, and it's gonna pull, uh, the earring that he wears out of his ear, uh, and he's gonna try and turn undead. So they have to succeed a wisdom saving throw at a DC 14. Considering they're baned, they do get that negative. Nice, nice, nice. And it's nice, all nice, of them nice. within 30 feet. So it's going to be none of the ones that are inside, the, not the two that are in the room, but all four of us, all four of them around us. Not the gawkers. Not the gawkers. Not the peanut gallery over there. Just these, these guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> not the mimic babysitters. <laughs> 
Not the studio audience. <laughs> what was and the applause, you know. 14. Okay. Wisdom. How street smarts are these vampires? Uh, yeah, pretty are wise. they? Oh, okay. When they it comes wise? to saves, they're... Okay. They're not that bad. A bane, though. Bane, I, I a bane a blessing. With them. I got you. I got you. <laughs> we we can see we can see. We got visual. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. we got visual. We're writing with faded breath. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bane's breath. <laughs> with baned breath. Oh, baned breath. Gross. Oh, that sounds bad, yeah. That sounds <laughs> really bad. That's like a hot that's Italian hoagie perfect. like on a summer day. Like that's bad. Ooh. Oh, so oh. scary. Or is, it, is it the character Bane? The way that his breath smells. <laughs> oh, I don't want to so I'm I sorry, what know. was the DC again? There's, there's 14. Too 14. much going on. Okay. That's okay. Um, We're... Okay. Uh, one of them is going to fail. The others are going to end up succeeding. Which one fails? Uh, you know what? You pick. <laughs> uh, uh, Strategically, I will say it's that one. Is the one in the middle... This this guy? I would say that one. Yeah, Just, uh, that was my inkling. Do we all get an attack of opportunity when it has to beef it? Because it's got to get as far as possible away from us on its turn. Um. Yes, but does that also break the... Oh. Uh. Would it break the grapple? Uh, Is that the question? No, no, does it break the turn? Uh... It is turned for one minute. It spends its turns trying to move as far away from you. So it does not break turn order, no. Okay. Oh, it does hitting does damage it, right? Yeah, does damaging it break the turn was what I was asking. Uh, some if we damage like, it, does it stop fleeing? I am reading. Hold on. Okay. It does not say so. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. That we're turned undead. Yeah, it works like that for other fears on my sheet, but it does not work for, like that for turn undead. Yeah, my other it doesn't say it were, doesn't do it. <laughs> my other rolls were a nat twenty, a nineteen, and a seventeen. God, God um, we're getting them out of the way. But yeah, that's that the one that had that bane. That kept, being nasty. Kept that one, yeah. Got that yeah. one to a failure. Okay. Is that the one that has sheer grappled, or do they both have sheer grappled? Uh, just the one. Just, just the one. Yeah. I can't. Re I think this one actually was the one that had sheer okay, grappled. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. This was the one that will take care of the advantage situation that you have going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Good move. In that case, uh, I'm going to move my spiritual weapon on top of the one that is currently bonking Sheer as a bonus action, and I'm going to bonk it. Bonk away. As hard as I physically can. Uh, wow. And that's going to be a 17 plus 7, so 24 to hit. That'll hit. With only four points of damage. Apologies. This is relevant time to tell you all that bonk is an acceptable word in Wordle. Good to know. <laughs> really? Chonk, <laughs> however, is not. I still don't understand Dang Wordle, it. and I'm I'm afraid to ask at this point. You know, <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know. I don't understand this movement at this point. I'm too afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good turn. Good shit. Bjorn. Our best. Okay, uh, I'm going to use the first of my two attack actions to break this grapple, uh, and that's going to be a 26. That'll break it. Against. All right. <laughs> cool. Love to see it. Uh, I will use my my free action to be like, Sullen, I got you. Uh, and if he does not seem to have an objection, uh, I'm going to shove him and out of place and take his place. Okay. You goons. Is this a bait and switch? No, Is that a I'm Scotty only? pushing you down a bit. So you're still going to be okay. in melee, but you will not be flanked by cool. them. Cool. 
I'll also break Hit the me. grapple if it succeeds. Hit me. Yes. Uh, so that's going to be a 20. That will. All right. So move down to score Sullen, and I'm going to take your place here. Okay. Tap it. Cool. And uh, I believe the shove was my other uh, attack action. Mm -hmm. And I do not have a bonus here, so that's going to be my turn. Thank you. Scotty. Sheer, how are you doing? Are you in a good place? <laughs> I would just be thrashing wildly and clearly not in the best place. I'm trying to fight this other vampire like a okay. very upset oh, child. 5, 10, 15. Scotty will bait and switch Sheer. And if she is unopposed, she will shove her then five feet behind. So she will be right there. It will. T the one guy will take an opportunity yes. attack against you. And yes, he will. Bained, so that'll miss. Okay. Without even rolling the d4, it'll miss. And thank you, uh -oh. Scotty. You're welcome. You, this is bad idea. Oh. Yeah, she's gonna. No, wait, that doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, she's gonna stay there. Sorry. Uh, she will roll. Oh, really good. She's got five extra AC for the time being. All right, so that's her movement, her one attack. So she will then uh, bonk the unbaned one with a regular hammer attack. Increasing her wordle score, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> Times squares, it, yellow squares. Eh? I don't know, man. You just gotta guess the word, and it tells you if it's in the right spot or not. Yeah. Uh, it is 15 to hit. That just hits. Oh, okay. Uh, that's seven bludgeoning and two lightning. Oh, I'm gonna just gonna mark off some stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's her turn. All right. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, action surge, she will cast blur. All right. Uh, okay, that's her turn. Annabelle. All right. I'm gonna take another stab at the same one because we're here and we're here. And I'm a little cornered. So we're just gonna you could fight our way out. You could use your own if you need to. I can. I definitely. Yeah. yeah. Halfling shit. Yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah. But for now, we're gonna stay put. That's gonna be a 17 to hit. Mm, that'll hit. Awesome. And then that will be 23 points of damage. All right. It's super rough. We'll go for the offhand attack. With a bonus action, that'll be a 22 to hit. That'll hit. And then an additional four points of damage. It's just barely hanging on. Oh! It all right, of, all right. kind of looks at you and just hisses, similar to like how Sullen did, but with <laughs> more pointy teeth. Oh god, cool. they're learning. If it, if it did that, then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of squeeze past uh, Sullen and Bjorn and get over there. <laughs> Actually, no, I can get a little further. I'm going to go over there. <laughs> oh, hi, Annabelle. <laughs> hi. Right. Just dodging through legs. Like... Yeah. Dodging through even. slide. <laughs> yep. That's it. All right. At the start of their turn, they regen. <laughs> Sons of bitches. So rude. So rude. Really? Uh, but one of them has one. like a nice amount of damage now. Nice. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Uh, 
so at the start of this one's turn, it will need to move. Way is obscured. <laughs> The way is shut. <laughs> the way is shut. Um, the way is shut. So we're going to say that Cannot it actually up ends <laughs> up going kind of off the map in the opposite direction. Oh, no. Back back whence you came. Do, uh, yeah, how do you not get opportunity attacks? Yeah, are there opportunity attacks? Uh, yeah, we'll say... And Sullen, actually. It, yeah, yeah, Sullen, Bjorn, and Scotty will get an opportunity attack. Baller. Yeah. LFG. Oh, you guys, I rolled a natural 20. Yes! 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 <laughs> yes! Murder this little dude. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, that feels good. Let's see. Okay, that's gonna be... Oh, hit, damage. Are you fucking kidding me on this? Uh, okay, so that's gonna be... 31 slashing, magical slashing damage. Okay. Hey. Daddy, go. Uh, 16 hit, correct? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, that is... Nine bludgeoning and two lightning. <laughs> Just a little poke a spark <laughs> after that. <laughs> uh, I have a 26 to hit. That'll hit. Nice, nice, nice. And nine points of uh, force damage. Solid. 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 Roasted. Roasted. It runs off 30 feet the other mm. direction. Sentry. Bring him back, please. Oh, you don't want him to walk go away? Oh. Because he's turned. Oh. He has to. Do we? Oh. Okay, keep him. He can keep going. Sorry. He can, he can keep going. Do you want him to have advantage? Because that was to get him away from having advantage. Okay. If you want to if you wanna toast him, I mean, you could toast him. That's, a, I mean, that's I, as your long call. As we that's not my ability. Chase him down afterwards and take care of him, I guess. Um, he can't go. I mean, he can't go that far. Yeah, it's I mean, thirty feet. So like, but he has well, to continue to do it with each of his turns. Yeah. So he will yeah. continue yeah. to go back through the. Yeah. There's okay. Okay. Not move, but he that. he has to move. He has to take his action to get as far away from Solon as possible, right? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Yes. Please do not have him move. She would like to keep him there. Okay. Thank you. Sorry for the confusion. Action. It's a lot of distance for us to try and track down a vampire who can climb walls. Yeah. Worst game of yeah. hide and seek ever. Kid mm, jumps like out and bites still, you. He'll still give this other <laughs> dude advantage, but that's all right. Sorry. Hopefully we can take that one out quick. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the, that, is that the one hanging on by a thread? I think so. Yeah. Were these ah. the ones that? Okay, this is not a scatty thing. Actually, never mind. So this is not a scatty thing. She's never seen these things before. Booty. Scatty knows nothing. So these are very rabid teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the one that has advantage against Bjorn, which would be a straight roll. Yes. Uh, the claw attack will miss. Okay. The bite attack. Uh, they're also baned, right? Yes. It's baned. Mm -hmm. So that will be... Is Bjorn still grappled? Yes. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, no, no, I'm no. not grappled right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Because that was the one that was grappling Selen. So it's yes. just going to be yeah. a, um, a, 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 a claw attack. So, um, uh, for max damage. So that is 
11 slashing reduced to five. Oh, wait, did the claw attack hit? Yes. The second one uh, hit because uh, it was a natural 16 on the die with the bane okay. that right. removed I just it didn't hear to you. Thank you. 13, which was a natural 19 to hit. I mean, okay, not natural perfect. 19, Thank but you. a 19 total to hit. Yeah. You did your math tables. <laughs> you I'm said that was to do seven... a lot of math right now. Yeah, yeah. It's a it was a couple. Math. Math. Yeah, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're, you're doing awesome. Great. Uh, uh, did you say that was seven damage? Uh, no, it was uh eleven damage reduced to oh, reduced. five. Thank you, thank you. Um. Okay, and then the other one will make a first attack against you and this one will be disadvantage that will miss second attack will also i assume miss miss yeah that'll miss okay um and then let's see if it's action so that one this one is going to uh try to attack scotty advantage please oh you're I'm blurred, blurred. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll miss um same thing so uh, it's a 16 to hit which i think will miss oh. miss miss yep all right sheer it's your go oh Right, so Sheer is going to peek out from behind Scotty and just bring up the viola and just play one note and point at the little dude with the this guy right here mm -hmm. and cast Moonbeam. All right. Which will be, I'm oh, sorry, a constitution saving throw of 16. Get it, Sheer, get it, Sheer. On that which they're banned, fails. right? Okay. Battle music share. Excellent idea. Dun, 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 dun. Is it? Oh, uh, that'll be 11 points of radiant damage. That, that is all. And these guys aren't straight changers. That's just normal vampires, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're not. But it's, yeah. It doesn't do extra. Okay. Um, yeah, and then Cheryl just kind of tuck back behind Scotty again and use her bonus action to regain a first level spell slot with sorcery point. Uh, remind me, how much was the... Um... 11 points of radiant damage. Okay. That one is starting to look pretty rough. It's looking pretty rough. Okay. That will be my turn. Yeah. Sullen, it's your go. Uh, which one looks the worst? Is it the one that currently I tried to turn? Uh, it is... Six one way, half a dozen the other between the one you okay. tried to turn and the one that... Annabelle's been wailing on over here. Okay. Uh, the one that I tried to turn, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna... Eldritch Blast it first. Um... Oh my god, that's a natural 20. Okay, uh... 11 points of force damage. Blast damage. Uh, and then another was 21 to hit. That'll hit. With 8 points of damage. And then I'm gonna pull all of the feathers up and try and smack it, like, onto the floor, basically. You don't need to do that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Love it. Uh, this goes to Solon! All right. Then I'm going to throw the feathers over Bjorn's head uh, and hit this one in the face, the one behind him. Okay. Uh, 
with a 19 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, and four points of force damage. I'll be like, are you okay, Blondie? And that's the end of my turn. Doing fine so far. This dice been rolling once for me all night, and then it gave me a twenty. Staying out of jail. Hey, Bjorn. Uh, all right. I am gonna start by uh attacking this one right to my left, and that is going to be a twenty-six to hit. That'll hit. And a nineteen slashing damage. Magical slashing damage. How's it doing? Uh, which one did you bonk? Uh, the one, the one to my left, the one that Annabelle has been wailing okay. on. Okay. Um. Uh, that one's gone. Nice. All right. Uh, so because I roasted that one, I am now going to do two axe attacks on the one right above me. And that is going to be a dirty. Nope. Sorry. 22 to hit That'll and hit. a 14 to hit, which I don't believe hits. The 14 will miss. Uh, so that's going to be 13 magical slashing damage on that particular one. And uh, that's going to be my turn. All right. Scotty. Uh, Scotty is going to charge up the hammer and wail on the one in front of her. With a 17 and a dirty 20. Both hit. I should have had these ready before I did it. Okay, that is 10 bludgeoning. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's my mod? 16 bludgeoning. Eight. And 12 lightning. And she is going to call out actually no she's not gonna say anything we're good all right top of the round annabelle all right i'm gonna how okay the two that are left out here mm -hmm. is one looking worse than the other significantly not significantly cool They're then i'll just the scoot on over here and i will Attack the one that Scotty's been wailing on from behind. Mm hmm And that will be a 22 to hit. That'll hit. Blossom. And then that's going to do 22 points of damage. And then I will draw my dagger for a bonus action offhand. For a 26 to hit. That'll hit. And two more points of damage. All right. That one's looking and fairly rough. Then I'm going to run away. Back the way I came. Run away. Run away, That's Annabelle. It. Hi. Bye. <laughs> All right. Uh, they recover at the start of their turn. And they have them not recover? Um, all of them have recovered. Okay. Um, because the one that would have not recovered has been dispatched. Bloody. Danger, danger! Oh, no! No! Why me? I didn't even ah, do anything. Ah. This is bullshit. <laughs> okay. So the one uh, against 
Bjorn. Uh -huh. uh, Is this we'll disadvantage town? Yep. Okay. Uh, both attacks will miss. Um, cool. against. The f so it'll be a straight roll against Scotty because she has blur up. Right. Yes. Whoops. Uh, that'll miss the first attack. Second attack will also miss. Um. And the also against Scotty. Uh, that's a natural nineteen, but reduced to a sixteen plus. So a twenty-two to hit. Shield. Okay. And then uh, that will also miss. And then against Sheer. Um, Sheer, you are now grappled. Aww. And bite for a dirty 20. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's fine. Well, wait, no, I have a, I have a, I have a thing. I have a thing. <gasps> Sorry. It's, it's a thing. I would like to, my reaction is that I am going to bend luck. No, never fucking mind. I actually can't do that because it would still be to continue with <laughs> this. <laughs> did I, did I... Did I say the damage for the... No, no, okay. I got it. Okay, five points of piercing damage. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, two points of necrotic damage that reduces your max by two as well. Yeah. Cheer, now it is your go. Ah, okay, that's... Uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, that those little guys came out I had like a plan almost before. Uh so Sheer is just going to make panicky noises for a second. And then go ahead and try and break this grapple. Ugh. That's a lie. That is absolutely a lie. I am just going to dimension door out of there. <laughs> Into the middle of this room. All right. Bye, motherfuckers. <laughs> Bear, share. <laughs> I'm like, where'd she go? <laughs> like, Scotty's just like, don't worry, Sheer, I got you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> And you just hear like light screaming from the other room. <laughs> like just a little bit of dust. There? Oh god, there are more in there. Uh, or she got smoted. <laughs> yeah, and then um That is gonna be my turn. Oh. No, yeah, yeah it is. Good turn, good turn. Good turn. Alright. Uh Solon, it's your go, Bjorn, you're on deck. Cool. Uh, uh, is anyone grappled? <laughs> I'm losing the plot. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, okay. No, no, no. It was just sheer. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this one right here that my spiritual weapon is next to. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bonk it as hard as physically possible, please. All right. Um. Ooh. Uh, it's eleven to hit, which is not great. No, uh, no, 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 but no. what I am. What I am going to do is I'm going to try an Eldritch Blast it. Um, one is a dirty 20. That hit. For two points of damage. And then one is a 21 for four points of damage. Um, and I'm going to be like, Scotty, you're surrounded. And that's going to be it. That's my whole oh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... Bjorn, it's your go. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm 
just thinking about it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk the opportunity to attack. I th think and come over here uh, to bonk this one. Uh, that'll miss. All right. Uh, and so I'm gonna use both of my axe attacks on this little <clears throat> bud of ours. Uh, the first one's gonna be a 16 to hit, and the second will be a 23 to hit. Both hit. So that is going to be a grand total of uh, 34 magical slashing damage between the two. All right, that one is toast. Oh, I'd love to see it. Uh, and that is going to be my turn. All right. Scotty. Uh, Scotty will hit the one that's right in front of Annabelle. So charge up the hammer and hit it twice. Four, a uh da, 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 26 that'll and hit. a 17. that'll hit okay 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 you are lightning you are lightning uh da, 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 da. math 12 plus all right, 18 bludgeoning and four lightning. All right. That's it. Okay, Annabelle. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take a swing at this one right in front of me. See if I can't finish what Scotty started. I believe in you. That is a natural 20. Nice. Tasty. Now, we have a decent roll. All right, we can work with that. It's going to be, okay. Okay. Oh, math. Hold on. Okay. You'd think I would have written this down by now. That's not... The number that I had in my head that I wrote down just now to do my math. DM, can I retroactively, and I know I'll invoke an opportunity attack, but can I move over one square? Yes. Thank you. Um, that will be an attack against me if they would like to take it. Okay. God. Oh, miss. Thank you. That's 52 points of damage. Against this one in front of me. Not quite a record, but it's knocking on the door. Oh. <laughs> um, it's still up. Oh, oh, it's oh. actually offhand. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> well, this die is clearly done. It rolled the natural 20 and now it's done because that's an 11 to hit. <laughs> That'll miss. Cool. Then I will run away. <laughs> okay, we go hide behind Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for me. Peekaboo right. with the Vikings. Okay, it started their they turn. They make good shields. They recover. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Move there. Move up there. That seems fair. You laid in some decent damage on him. On that one in particular. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> um, so... I'm not your buddy, guy. <laughs> I'm not, I'm your, not guy. your guy, buddy. 
<laughs> um, so we'll do the first one that will have disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Attack against you will miss and will miss. And then these will be straight rolls. We'll do the Bane one first. Okay. Uh, which will miss. The first attack. Second attack will probably miss as well because that is a 21 to hit. Really? That meets it. All right. Uh, that is six points of slashing damage. Okay. And then the one that's not baned with a straight roll, first attack, will miss. Mm-hmm. Uh, and will also miss, because I am rolling all sorts of single digits. And then, sure, it's here uh-huh. we go. All right, just glancing out the door real quick and seeing all of them just besieging Scotty like that. I made which friends. Look, <laughs> which two look the, the uh, most pale and well, healthy. the type of friends she would make. Yeah. That is to say any friends. Any and all. Was, was there We're a giving her attention. that was asked? I- Yes, uh, which, just at a quick glance, uh, whichever two look most hale, Okay. I would like to uh, twin a witch bolt at them. All right. Uh, so the lay baned one and uh, this one up here, which has had both Scotty and Annabelle wailing on it, um, are the ones that are hurt. Actually, okay. this one over here looks like it could go for a walk, as if it's not okay. case, taking any damage whatsoever. All right. Well, in that case, I will hit the two that are flanking Scotty um, with that twinned second level a witch bolt. All right. Uh, wait, one moment. That's not good. Yes, it is. We're just making fun of fun? Yes, which one? Free. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So the first one, this will be the attack against the baned one. Oh, shit. Look at me rolling something above a five. Uh, natural 16. That'll hit. All right. So that's that one. And then the other one, I am going to do an advantage activating my like magic. Shit. I can't even, I don't even know. Okay. Which will be a natural 19 on that one as for that. And then 37. Sorry. All right. And as the magic like coalesces around me, it explodes out and 1d6 flumps controlled by the DM appear in an unoccupied space within 60 feet of me and are frightened of me. And vanish after oh. a minute? Help. <laughs> what? A what? What's a flump? I, I yeah, mean, that's my question. It's, it's like a weird I, I happen little... to know and it's good. It's very good. Please. I, I, I rolled a octopus? six. Let's go. Oh. Oh, imagine, yeah. imagine the flying spaghetti monster. Yeah. But it's not spaghetti. It's like an oh organic creature. Yeah. <laughs> They're afraid of, they're frightened of me and 60 feet away just doing stuff. I don't know. All right, actual damage Zoom. though. Zooming in on this. I want to see this. <laughs> Number, they're rainbow. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. losing it. Ah, oh my god. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Okay, are oh these looking shit. as usual or are these got a shadow fell touch to them? Or? <laughs> I don't they know. I feel friends. Like- I yeah. feel like they'd just be like normal flumps, maybe like weird, like Very soft touch to ones here. though. <laughs> like, yeah, they look like they don't belong here for sure. Not of this. Right. Anyway, damage. Damage is what I'm doing. <laughs> so it'll be 11 points of damage for the first guy, the banned one. Well, then we're arranging flumps over here. <laughs> yeah. A little flump party in the, in the hallway. That we have yeah. some flumps. Flump rave. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, they're brave. Okay, how much damage for the 
Eleven one. points for the first one. And then... Eighteen points of damage for the second one. And you did want it to go to the one that was, uh, had taken damage before, right? Or nah? Because you did the, say the two that were flanking, but the one that is yeah. flanking over here has not taken damage. This one has. I, no, the two flanking are the two that I want to hit. Okay. And I want to hit the cool, cool. back one with the higher amount of damage. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. After that ridiculousness, uh, I will uh, end my turn. <laughs> Meanwhile, some flumps are just like... <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> we don't belong here. This is Lovely. not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful flump wife. <laughs> Just right, it's not my turn for a bit. I'm gonna clip that, hold on. <laughs> it's like leaving a sparkly trail. Can we put the SpongeBob jellyfish rave on the playlist for them, please? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have to now. That's exactly what's happening in the corner, right? I'm not the only one. Uh, it's on Spotify, so 100%. you know what? Uh, what's that? No, I'm blanking on it. Sullen, it's your go. I'm, I've got to okay. look up something. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to try and hit the one that is to the left of Scotty. Uh... And I'm gonna throw a bunch of feathers around her like a shield, uh, and then I'm gonna try and hit the one, the thing, the nasty. Oh, that's not great. Uh, shield didn't work. Uh, Scotty's too powerful. Um, it's a ten to hit, uh, and then I'm gonna tr Eldritch Blast it instead. Uh, one is a twenty-six to hit for what? three points and then one is a 14 to hit for four points i don't think 14 hits 14 misses yeah okay uh remind me which one you were hitting because uh the one with the green okay that's it uh and that is my entire turn excellent so i was trying to think of brain power i feel like they're like really just like memeing it out with brain power Back there. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, it's an old meme, but it still works. Uh, <laughs> it still checks out. It still checks out. Uh, la, 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 la. Bjorn! Uh, what up? Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do two axe attacks on the one right in front of me here. Uh, that is gonna be a tidy 18 to hit and a uh, 17 to hit. Those hits. So that is going to be 27 magical slashing damage total between both of those. And uh, I think that's going to be my turn. All right. Scotty. Scotty will charge up the hammer and hit. I'm kind of enjoying the Bane guy on the field, so she will hit the guy that's up above ahead of her. Mm -hmm. So, charge up the hammer, hit it twice. Why do you look like a zero? Oh, no, you're a nine. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, that is a modifier. I know you well. Where are you? Okay, that is a 18 to hit and oh. a 22. Both hit, yeah. Okay. Lightning, lightning, lightning. No, wait, you're bludgeoning. Get back over there. Okay. Five lightning. 12 plus 12, 24 bludgeoning, and I realize I have not been adding my bludgeoning correctly. I've been shorting it six every turn, but that's all right. Too much. It's too much math. Too much math. Yeah. Too much math. It's a lot of D8s, math. guys. D8s and D4s. <laughs> Top the round, Annabelle. Great. I am going to run up and get on the other side of this one to flank a scatty. 
Oh, Hang hi, on. Annabelle. Hi. <laughs> and that's going to be a 21 to hit that hit. time. Cool. One more d6. There we go. I like that one. He's unlucky. Well, he's about to get unluckier. Um, <laughs> and then that will be uh, that's, that's 26 points of damage. Hey! hey. <laughs> and then I will run up and offhand try to stab that one, the one up top, with my dagger. Except that's only going to be a 13 to hit. That'll miss. Okay. Then I will scoop back with what little movement I have left, and that's it! Alright. At the start of their turn, they regen. Rip. And this one's gonna move around. Get straight rolls for against Scotty. That'll first attack will miss. Second attack will also miss. You can go away yeah. for the evening. No, 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 come back. <laughs> no, no, wait. No, we like this. The other one, uh, that's more like it, and nothing's baned anymore. Nope. So that is a mathing 23 to hit. Math will hit. Wait, was that the first that was attack the first. from the other one? Yeah. Okay, so you are grappled. <laughs> ah, bad touch. Bad second, touch. Second attack oh. is... Can, uh, yeah. can I go ahead? I might finish your sentence, sorry. Uh, second, <laughs> you <got me. laughs> second attack uh, will miss, because that is a 17 to hit. That misses. Yeah. And that's their go. And we will say that this one is grappling Scotty. I think Scotty's just awkwardly standing there with this vampire <laughs> clinging to her. She's like, ah! <laughs> Bad touch! <laughs> no, I will not go on a date with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for permission first. This is not Fight Pit. <laughs> uh, Sheer, it's your go. Our Sheer is just going to hit Buddy with that damage again. It's just gonna be five points. Uh, and then... I'm gonna walk back up over here to there, and then, um... Quicken a spell and just throw a fire bolt at the back of the guy that is grappling. Okay. Uh, and that is a natural six, natural eighteen. That'll hit. Okay. Then we'll kind of put some damage on that. Sorry, two d ten. Uh, for seventeen points of fire damage. Nice. kind of turns and presses herself against the wall and that'll be Sheer's turn. Thanks, Sheer! As this burning vampire is clutching Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it smells worse now! Why do you smell charcoaly? <laughs> Barbecue. Mmm. Mmm, tasty. Uh, sullen, it is your go. Uh, I see fire come out of a doorway. I go, well, that makes sense. And then I am going to Eldritch Blast the one uh, on Scotty's left that's currently grappling her twice. Uh, 19 to hit. That'll hit. For just one point. Uh, and then... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, sorry, 23 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, for three points. So that's four total. Uh, and then 
Let's try the shield thing again with all the feathers, just, you know, to get kind of in between the two of them, but I want to hit it on the hands to try and, you know, break this little grapple thing, even if it's just for flavor. Okay. Um, and that's a 17 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, with six, seven, eight, nine points of force damage. That's it. That's my turn. It's a good turn. Yay! Go, <laughs> Sullen! Hell yeah! We're Hell trying yeah. our best here. We're doing a damage cleric. <laughs> Bjorn. All right, I'm gonna rotate around a little bit uh, so I can get flanking on this buddy. And that's going to be a 23 to hit and a 17 to hit, uh, which is going to be a grand total of 34 magical slashing damage. All right. It is still up. All right. If it's still up, uh, that's going to be it for me. Scotty, it is your go. Now that she's not awkwardly being touched, she will charge up the hammer and hit this guy in the face twice. And that is a 17. That'll hit. And a 22. That'll also hit. I won't make you math if it's more than six points. How do you want to do this? It is more than six points. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck on the 11 plus like 12 or something like that, and it wasn't making sense. 23. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just like uh, charges up the hammer and batters up and hit him in the face. All right. Let and do it. you charge up the hammer uh which somehow feels a little lighter as you're swinging it around and just wham right across this vampire's face like detaching the jaw it goes slinging across the room and you find yourselves out of initiative unless you want to like poke at flumps which i will I judge do. you horribly <laughs> if you poke at flumps or just like jellyfishing through the air. Yeah. <laughs> a gentle poke, hopefully not the same as I like. <laughs> yeah. Image feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New but friends. then to greet them. Yes. <laughs> what? I don't. <laughs> no, don't touch it. Also, the room is like dark, so we kind of just saw them like fade into the <laughs> like great beyond. We're like, what yeah. the fuck was that? <laughs> <sighs> All right. It was just like peeking out like. Oh, that's where you went. Everybody all right? Yeah, everything. You okay? They're gone. Hmm. Yeah, all yep. taken care of. What was it? Oh, well, that's good out no. there. And then I start looking in this yeah, window to make that? sure there's nothing else. Yeah, peer in the room and look at the ceiling. Like, where did they come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. But where did those come from? Yep. Uh, where are oh, those? What even are those? Because you've never seen a flump before. Did you? Uh, what? Are they? I don't think so. But are they poisonous, ven no. venomous? I'm fairly certain they're not. But they're more like psychic jellyfish. Like they, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't ever seen. Are they a piece of bacon? They... She's trying to give to a flump. Don't. Will they hurt? Probably. I don't know. I, since you don't poke wildlife, Scotty, not... don't touch it. Don't I'm not touch touching it. it. I'm gonna give it bacon. Like, Maybe we leave it alone. You if you... Yeah. Yeah. Just in case just... it. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we don't get too close. If it seems to be leaving us alone, maybe we do the same in kind. Yeah, and it'll disappear in a little bit. So I'm just. Is this typical it. for you? I mean, it's Wait, a dude. thing that happens. I, I'm starting to like poke through coffins and stuff. <laughs> Hold on. Is that a chest in the corner? <laughs> Annabelle, there was yeah, something magical cool. in there. <laughs> Oh, there is? Excellent. Yes. <laughs> Wander into go the room and here. <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. hold up the light source, kind of look around. Yeah. yeah. Take out my gem of brightness. I cast light on Thanks. Scotty's hammer. Scotty's still trying to make a friend. Yeah, you find a lot of just like rubble and um, debris and some icky stains 
probably in a like remnants from feeding yes. kind of stuff. Yeah. Lovely. Messy um, eaters. It smells pretty dank in this room too. Oh, like a nice death. smoky dankness though. <laughs> Um, well, crispy. So yeah, uh, roll me investigation for the chest. All right. Not to presume uh, that you're gonna check it. Sorry. No. It, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The usual, the usual routine. Um, that will be a fourteen investigation. Uh, fourteen. It doesn't appear to be trapped. Cool. I would like to try to unlock it, please, if it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. it's locked. <laughs> Figured, yeah. Cool. That Empire's will got be. Trust issues. <laughs> yes. Uh, seventeen. No, that's not right. No. Yes, seventeen. All right. You use tools and get it unlocked. Cool. Open that up. See what's inside. Open it up, and you find one potion of healing. You find uh do 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 double checking It's Christmas. Uh ten platinum. Oh and that's it. Cool. Cool. I'll divvy up the platinum. Um uh, who wants to hold on to this then? Pull up the healing potion. Um, does everyone have two? I think I have one. Do you want this then, Bjorn? Yeah. Bjorn, I don't mind giving it. it to someone else if they don't have any or don't have enough. But well, if another of us can get to you, then... I've got two already. Alright, sure. Here, yours. Happy to take it. Thank you. All the coffins are, like, messed up, right? Like, these two that look like they are intact, are they intact? <laughs> um, they are indeed intact. You I feel like I would kind of walk over to where Scotty is. I think there's, I think there's something in here, Scotty. Oh, oh I didn't even think about that. Oh, Scotty will. I don't know, do vampires breathe? Maybe we'll. No. Do... No? No, they... no. I don't know if there's any way for us people to know if something's in there, unless we just want to. Like, is it damaged at all by the fireball? Like, it's. Um, no? uh, well, actually, yeah, because a fireball, there would not be. Like, it would have caught fire and. All that wood and debris would not be there, and eventually, and it's just like a, a it'd hole. Just be like smoldering, actually. <laughs> be smoldering. Okay, okay. Yeah, so it's not like, like there's charred. Uh... Yeah, like everything caught fire, and boom. So there's not. In that case, yeah, I just like wooden. kick over some mm -hmm. wood chunks as I am poking through this room. Never mind. <laughs> well, I'm gonna wave and smoke out of my face. <laughs> Do yeah. we want to make sure these are these are empty? Just to make sure nothing comes after us. We can Couldn't crack hurt. them open if you'd like. Yeah. Sure. Just to make sure. Maybe everybody holds, be ready for something. Yeah, I'll hold an Eldritch yep. Blast. Sort out. Are these uh, heavier than 10 pounds? Yes. Okay. Uh, Scotty will, since Blur should maybe still be up, it's good for a minute. Your call. If that's the upper roof, we've. I would say it's probably done. Okay. Because that's fine. Oh. She was still. For what it's worth, I this amulet lasts for ten minutes. If you'd like me to. Oh sure, if you wanna. All right, I'll open it then. Don't need to do okay. anything special. Just stand by in case she needs to bonk something that comes out. Um. probably hot you may not want to touch it directly with, <laughs> with skin 
Uh, <laughs> okay, is it is it currently on fire? Is it smoldering? It's smoldering, it's, it's right? It's smoldering. Okay, then I'll use the, the reverse end of my axe, uh, which has a metal cap on it, and, like, kind of push, like, just crack the coffin lid to try to get a little peek in there. As you crack the coffin lid and, um... You don't really see much, but you get this hint of like wet, like shimmer. And then you're hit by the smell. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Of a Golden really empty ice old body that's oh. been cooked and juicy. Damn yeah, juicy. he'll kind of take a step back and go like, I think we're good. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope, nope. No more of that. Mm -mm. Nope. Check the other one just to be sure. Oh, if God. it smells like that, I say no. Yeah, I don't. That's nope, nope. At, at this point, I feel like we're making enough noise that if there was something in there, it would have... If you want me to, I will, but... Pass. Pass. I'll stand back, if you're gonna do that. <laughs> Just, like, right. scarf over her nose. <laughs> yeah, this time it's the kind of the, like... <laughs> I guess Bjorn has, like, a cloak he can kind of do one of these and, like, poke the other... <laughs> same same shtick, just a little just a little crack. <laughs> you know uh, what? Can, I, like <laughs> can I thaumaturge it open before he reaches it? I can't use mage hand. <laughs> it's a cantrip off. Let's go. <laughs> oh, can I wait? Can I thaumaturge the, the one closed as soon as they move away from it instead? Yes, you can thaumaturge it okay. closed. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Opening, okay. no, because you'd have to actually like pry. Like pry it open. Yeah. Okay, I'm definitely like, <laughs> it just shuts. <laughs> um, As you, you pry, it's like, more of the same, but it's kind of got like that coating the mouth feeling where something so <laughs> smells so bad that Tears just standing there like what what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> nope, I um You don't smell that. I think we're good. Oh, oh god. I thought my tidget clothes. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Room's clear. You know what? Everybody yeah. who can smell make me a constitution <laughs> saving <laughs> oh. We had that coming. I'm using my yeah, cursed dice oh, for no. you. Four. I forgot I have it. Oh, 13. Uh, 11. All right. Like All of you but Scotty. Like. Actually, no, I'll say, like, also Sullen. Like, Sullen, it's close, but you're <laughs> able to hold it back. Annabelle and Are your you goodness. just losing your lunch. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Which yeah. also adds to the beauty of the smell in this Girl. room. <laughs> Good. Wow. God. Wow. Are there okay, candles let's... that we have scented at all? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, with the human blood. Anyone got anything that makes a pleasant ah. smell? I don't know. Candles. No. Flowers. Wait, we're not gonna... Why? Just... Let's, uh, can we... Can we just get, get out of here? Yeah. Uh, can we... Go. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Nothing else in that chest? Nope. Nope. No. All right. Okay. I don't even care at this point. I'm good. Let's go. There's a... There's a door. Oh, the flumps. Oh, the flumps. Uh, is this door <laughs> closed? Uh, it is closed. Is it locked? The flumps escaped. Wait, how did the flumps get out? <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> the mystery! <laughs> They're scooting they under the door. They're <laughs> magical <laughs> flumps. They just they flumped just, away. They just yeah. flumped. They are flumping <laughs> in their flumpy ways. I'm here. The, the flumps flump. are just the all flump. in this area going, Oh my god, please they're just... Please let me out! <laughs> like, sitting bouncing against the wall. So the flumps are sick from the smell. That's what you're telling me. We are terrified of the creepy vampire lady. 
<laughs> They're just like doing their little jellyfish thing against the wall, going, mm -hmm. uh, Let me be free! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Is it locked, this door? Uh, it is. But, like, you can just. Like, oh, great. Locked from the inside. Excellent. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> great. Love it. Easy. Let's go. Yeah. Imagine there's just like a, a like a wave of flumps and we're just walking behind them. Yeah, the flumps just like <laughs> let it. them go. They just yeah. like walk yeah. along. They're just always staying sixty feet ahead Bump until along. they disappear. Just... I think they're probably close to God. I think it's only yeah. like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I love well. Sure, it's just like stepping around the sick with like her skirts held up and just. Sorry. I mean, sorry you're so delicate. She just pats at Annabelle. All right, all right. <laughs> that is, I am many things. I am not delicate. Excuse you. Like, smacks her hand away. Like, uh, do you need? I have no food. I would give you some food. And... I don't. Not, not here. Not here. Maybe out when we're out of this room. Maybe, but. Not, not in I, here. Let's let's Was go. there something like poison in the coffins? Like what happened to you all? Did you not? You didn't smell, smell it. She like stands extremely still for like one moment. She's like, oh right, and then she like kind of lightly sniffs. It's like goes back to not breathing immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad. Terrible. Yeah. Awful. Very bad. Those are a strong stomach. Fuck. Okay. All right. Let's. <sighs> yeah. Um. Are we well, going through the store? Gonna... Sorry. I was going to say this amulet is still active, I think, for probably a couple minutes if you'd like me to look for more of these things ahead. But is everyone okay? I've been better. I'll admit it. Yeah. Same. I have two. Do whatever. Keep... Sorry. Whatever those things are doing, well, it feels like even when we're trying to rest, I'm not able to get back up completely. Me neither. Make me a perception check, everyone. No. Uh, also, terrible. have you left the room, I assume? Um, or are you still kind of like standing I don't there in the gross? I think so. I think like, we're kind of yeah, looking gross. at the door going. Like, are we, yeah, we're open. The door. Yeah, yeah like, we have the, the this one open, the one near the flumps. This is open. Yeah, it's yeah. open, okay. and you can see um, more like hallway, uh, probably about two hundred feet, and then you see maybe a door on your left, and the path curves to the right or turns to ninety uh -huh. degrees to the right. Okay. Okay. 25. 19. Nine. Um. Annabelle and Sullen. Seven. And Sheer. Scotty, what was yours? I rolled a natural one, so that's like a three. Okay. <laughs> um, so. Annabelle, Sullen, and Sheer, um, as you're about to like leave the room, you swear you saw a raven. Like, just in your peripheral vision. You see that? Yeah, yeah, did, did you? you see? Is that a bird? Yeah. Like yeah. a is, is black like a like a raven or something. Uh in which direction? Like to the right or to the left? So if you were facing the hallway, uh looking out the doors near the chest, it would be to the right. Mm -hmm. and kind of up. Is it still there? When you look directly at it, it is not. Can I flip up my detect magic and see if it's an illusion? Um you flip up your detect magic and 
There's nothing there. It's... But you did see that, right? Yeah, but I can't. I can't look directly at it. It's like the other, other times we've seen that before, where it's something is there, just out of the corner of your eye. But then when you try it's to not. focus, it's. But it's there. At least it, I mean, other times it has. Not an illusion, though. There's nothing. There's actually nothing there. So it's real. Well, maybe. That was the last time if you saw it. Three that. of us saw it. Just now. Or something like that. Well, I mean, like before. You said you've seen something. Well, like remember this the house in the woods, like all that oh. time ago. Um, I'm before sorry. we met these two. What happened? Well, it was before we met, before we ran into you, Solon, but we were, I mean, we were traveling on foot through, uh, which was, was it again? Sure was, right? Yeah, was that's it? right, yeah, that's right, I think so, yeah. Radio. Yeah, it was. But there was a house that we came across and that changed locations, which was uh, interesting, um, but... It was, it was like that bird just now. You could see it out of the corner of your eye, but as soon as you tried to directly look at it, it would disappear. Now, is this before or after you guys all met Nyx? After. Yeah. After. Well, Actually, do you feel Nyx that... warned us away from it if we happened she to did. see it? Yeah. That was my it next was... question. Was it Faye at all? Well, say we were told there was someone living in the woods who was, I believe, necromancer in yeah. nature, and we have reason to believe it may have been his house. Yeah. Right. Well, do we want to peek around the corner and see what we can see? Or is this something that we're leaving sleeping birds lie here? Uh, this is a DM question. Um, if they're pointing it out, can we can we see it now, or is we never saw it? Can't see it. Yeah. There's nothing there. Okay. All right. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Might not hurt to go in that direction, but <laughs> it might just be chasing shadows. It might be. There's an idea, isn't it? You just said it. <laughs> I mean, shadow can pass through yeah. the gate. <laughs> well, that's an idea. But well, we've seen, like, sh shadows down here already, like the monsters. Why would the riddle use a bird all of a sudden? Yeah, this is new. Only an idea, but yeah. it might be something, at least something that, well, I mean, why else do you show a bird to someone? It's because they, you know, want you to follow them. <sighs> the whole, like, teasing something in front of you sort of thing. It's happened before. Yeah. I deal with an owl, it's kind of, you know, the general yeah, that's sentiment true. Is, is, you know, please follow me, I have everything that you could ever want, blah blah blah, uh, you know. Birds are just, you know. Well, did it seem like the raven was trying to lead you somewhere or interact with you, or was it just... It's just there. there. Just caught a glimpse of it. Couldn't really tell. Which, I mean, I'm very curious, so of course I'm like... Yeah. Interested, interested. Maybe we just keep an eye out? And keep an eye out for it. I yeah. kind of want to poke around the corner. See? There is that door up ahead. There's a door. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are y'all moving forward? All right. I'm I think so. Yeah. yeah. Marching order? I'm happy to go first since I might be lucky for a little while. I can go second behind you. Also, tend to be 
relatively lucky as far as this kind of thing goes. Uh, Shira, yeah. do you want to be last or do you want me to cover the rear? Uh, it's mm-hmm. Ellen go. It's Ellen second. Uh, I'm going to be next to Annabelle, so I'll be like behind her. I'll go. Behind Bjorn. Seems like we're okay, we'll take the rear. <laughs> All right. Um, you walk about 200 feet, and then you see a door to your left, and then around the corner, um, you see another long hallway that is probably about 500 feet long, if you were to guess. Looks like there is a door on your on the left, and then instead of the immediate um, right 90 degree turns that you've been doing, it looks like the uh, it just kind of goes off on a 45 degree angle at the end of that hallway. Do you guys well, want to check a, a acute angle or like? <laughs> uh, it's going to the right because you're spiral. You started and you're spiraling okay. in, mm-hmm. and you're Thank continuing you. to spiral. Okay. Cool, but like an a rectangular cool. shape. Cool. Do you want to check this room or continue? Yeah, yeah. I think may as well. And just listen, right? You mustn't burst, but we've had check good your traps. Yeah. Also. Uh, anybody who wants to listen, make me a perception check. Uh, 23. 13. Natural 20. Can I be watching, like, the ceilings and the rest of the hall for movement? Absolutely. Okay. They Um, clearly have that door covered. Yeah, door... not, (laughs) Not a peep. Don't hear anything. Uh, investigation not trapped. Not locked. Got it? Major. It's kind of a small room. Um, looking at maybe like a kind of like a closet. You've got maybe it's probably about a 30 foot cube kind of like a D closet <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any towels <laughs> uh n- no but there are like um like chairs that have or like chair shapes that are draped with um dusty cobweb ridden um cloth and maybe like a little circular table that's also covered with cloth and Scatty mage hand one of the cloths off one of the, the chairs. Yeah, it's a chair. This feels right. Mm-hmm. I suppose it's a chair. It's dusty. Anything on the ceiling? Oops. What was <laughs> Shears check? Oh, that would be a uh, uh, 12, so. Nothing on the ceiling. Ceiling. I think Annabelle will head into the room to take a closer look, just to click once over. Fairly empty room. Has a couple of chairs that have cloth on it and a table. Does the table have a cloth? Yep. Lift the cloth. It's a table. (gasps) Fooled me. Like rot, like old wood kind of going a little rotten. Mm Mm-hmm. To like nothing under the table either. Maybe some rats this room only has... about. No. You know. This room only has the Obvious. one door that we're looking in right now, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. There's nothing in here. Um, If I sort of look over my shoulder, can I see if there's maybe like a raven out to the corner of my eye in any direction? Make me a perception check. 
or investigation because you're specifically looking for a thing. Twelve. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Wait. You see, no, that's not it. No. <laughs> Just That's one of the your, rats. your own hair. feathers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Exit the closet. Are we going to keep going? I'm fine with that. I was just going to say this might be a defensible spot to come back to if we need to. We want to come back. That's, That's fine. That's true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we need to come back. I'm guessing, perhaps, for that archway, although I don't know for sure what the purpose of it is. Right. But mm -hmm. it seems like there'd have to be a way, a way to get there without the archway. Not everyone has whatever mm -hmm. they think is needed. We'll be checking one more door. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, and that's where we're going to take our break. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. One more door. All right. If you would like a chance to win this, uh, this cool little dice bag with matching dice that are super mm -hmm. cool. So cool. Uh, super cool. Like, so cool. camera doesn't pick it up, but they're also like sparkly. So they really oh. look like, they, they look like fire. Like, <laughs> um, nice. If you would like to win this, then enter into the chat. I'm really hoping for flump. Yes, and that's what it is. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, if you'd like a chance to win this, then enter flump into the chat. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and then be right at the back. We love you. We'll be right at the back.
and we're back. Hello. 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 We've figured out the song that's been stuck in my head. Yes. It's he's lump, but it's too he's flump. Uh, yes. What threw me off was I was stuck on the Weird Al version, so. Yep. <laughs> well, now we need to make the D&D version. Yeah, mm -hmm. clearly. He's on. He's on. He's on. I don't know the words. <laughs> you do the thing where you just cut in like a very different audio clip that's just like the normal song, but then it's like, <laughs> Yeah. Flump. Flump. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, again, if you would like a chance to win this lovely little dice bag with... Aesthetically matching dice. These are so fucking dope. I almost got these color for myself, matching. Right? That is some. That is some Dude, tasty color it. matching. Those are yeah. hot. Yeah. Those are really hot. I Good. Almost got these. There's also another set that's like uh, yellow and purple, and it's just like the like for some reason I think of them as. Um, so Kool Aid did like a purple dinosaur flavor, but it was just basically a grape lemonade. Oh and, yeah, and so this super old. <laughs> Showing my age, folks. Um, anywho, so if you would like to win that lovely set, uh, then enter Flump into the chat. I'll give you a couple of more seconds to, you know, to, to get that in there. But I'm gonna roll it in like three, uh, two. Yo, No Fame Pod! By the way, oh, wow. if you're not following your friends, No Fame Pod, mm -hmm. you should be. And also, you should be watching yeah. Noel Shore, because it's dope. I also saw that they did a Monster of the Week special thing, oh, really? or whatever, so Ooh. I need to check that out. That's Ooh. on my watch list yeah. now. I am looking. Ooh. Mm -hmm. You may not have intentionally and just have typed Flump, so <laughs> <laughs> it works out. Um... Ah, where's my thing for chat? There we go. Uh, so just, I'm gonna DM you. So if you wouldn't mind, uh, just sending me your address and I can send that to you. I realize I own very, dice very similar to the, the dice for the prize tonight. So I really shouldn't be lusting so much, but is there ever really a limit to how many sets of dice you can have? No. no, no, the limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. Really, I'm you just need a couple of them for if you ever have to do a fireball, because you're gonna need at least like. Mm -hmm. well, we have the special fireball yeah. set. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I mean, do you think yeah. thirty is enough? Sets? No, thirty is yes. sets. sets. That's yeah. it. <laughs> those are those are rookie numbers. You gotta get those up. Yeah, I know. It's actually yeah. not like. Wait, hold on, yeah. hold on, Jeff. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. no, see, you two make me feel better about my collection. So, see, yeah. <laughs> see, these are my di my DM dice, but then I have my like my extra special DM dice that are in this mm -hmm. bag, as well as in hey, these yeah. like boxes, and then I have my Claire dice. Oh. And then I have <laughs> the my less quid. aesthetically pleasing ones are in here. Oh, the brat bag. <laughs> That's for when you run out of D20s, everything else has gone to jail. Then you bring out that one. Yeah. Uh, Which, by yeah. the way, yeah. like, this, this oh, cool bag is by uh, Vic Crafts, who's a friend of the channel. Yeah. yeah. Do mm -hmm. love that bag. This is the... So pretty. Very good. The Cronergy bag for my Cronergy wizard. Anywho. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, when last we were here, um, our group of intrepid adventures had... Uh, noted an empty room and then progressed down the hallway and were or did you progress or were you talking about progressing to the next room? We were, we were progressing. I think I we were planning to do so. Um, yeah. So I will I point mean... out because the protection good and evil is 10 minutes. In the yeah. amount of time that you spent post fight digging through coffins, opening things, opening chests, opening next door, and like going into the next room, more than 10 minutes has passed. Yep, that feels about right. Thank you. Uh, do you still want the front or you want to swap? I'm comfortable being up there. I think I'm in slightly better shape than quite a bit of our party, but. Well, did you want to swap with Scotty? It's up to you. I don't mind either way. Oh, if you're feeling good. Yeah, I'm alright. Let's okay. go. 
Onwards. Onward. Looking at the ceiling. It's a ceiling. Distrustingly. There's some cracks in <laughs> some it. Some nice. It's not like there's cracks faulty everywhere. Like shifted walls. This would not log on the ground. They they really need to get their inspector in here. This this is an <laughs> OSHA violation. Things are great. Vibes are strong at least. They've got a sense of Yeah, that's true. Ominous decor. Like mm -hmm. theme park design. Got that down. Mm-hmm. Mm. And the zombie rats attack. Oh, are there rats? Are there rats around? <laughs> this is an actual question. Oh yeah, there there are rats around. Oh. There definitely were rats in the empty room. Uh, can I catch one with a mage hand? Interesting question. <laughs> yeah. Just... Are rats cre are rats creatures? They're creatures, right? They're creatures. Yeah. 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 Are they like spooky <laughs> shadow fell rats? Shadowfell rats, what? Um, <laughs> you, I, made to catch a rat, yeah. Like, uh, just roll me, um, roll me acrobatics. Oh, that's okay, sure. Oh, 17. Yeah, you can mage hand catch a rat to make a sound. Uh, but I'm sure it does make a sound. It's a rat that's being held by an, the hand. I guess it's not oh, visible it in this case. Oh, it made a sound. Meek. <laughs> Squeak, squeaking. Yeah. I mean, it, uh, could be, it could be a guinea pig, and it could be... <laughs> oh my gosh. Um... <laughs> uh, will you let me fanged bite this rat to regain hit points equal to the piercing damage dealt by this? I know they don't have... Like, they only have one hit point. Yeah, like, yeah, you can get... Um... Okay. Tell you what. A little rat snack. Rodents of uh, unusual you size. Are able, you are able to catch three rats. Yay, three rats! I'm gonna eat some rats. Nope, guys. This is normal. Are you just eating them like baked potatoes as we like walk is this down like the hallway? Or, like the I mean, or is it like, a, like, a, like one of those applesauce packets or just like sucking it dry? Like... <laughs> it's a comparison. <laughs> eating a rat in the most dignified way possible as I am like grossly bleeding a little bit out of places. <laughs> I feel like it's the kind of like Bjorn kind of looking over his shoulder, like at this scenario, being like, w "What? <laughs> do you, do you want me to charge that a little bit for you? Get it a little cooked?" No, thank you, Scotty. Okay. Uh, just like your meal. Vaguely oh, embarrassed look in the like gray Shit, scale. What the hell? <laughs> You can't just say what the hell when someone's eating, Solon. <laughs> well, I mean, don't make a choke. I'm not trying to. No offense at all. I'm it's just like rat smoothie. <laughs> Is this something that the party could? Do you? How do we facilitate this? Because you. Well, right now you don't really need to. It's just like it's it's free rats. I haven't. It's used... free real estate. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm, I'm not at all, you know, it's realistic. <laughs> this is, what do the rats do, or is this just a fun snack? I mean, they didn't, they didn't do anything. I, that, we're, that, we're down here fighting, are we fighting like cultists or something? Don't we have places to be? I just like start like striding yeah. forward. Still, still yeah, with like a rat in my hand, <laughs> just. But as I go past Solid, I'm going to like clap him on the shoulder and like uh, twin cast a healing, not a healing hand, a cure wounds. Nice, nice, nice. As That's you do it. so, I'm gonna look at you and just say like, "Ow, ow, oh, thank you. Okay, all right. <laughs> do you do you need to? You drink blood." We figured it out. Your goblet smelled weird when we were in the little thing. And we kind of investigated, and I think we've all kind of figured it out. Uh, yeah. I hoped you had, especially at this point. I'm still just, like, eating a rat and still, like, striding 
awkwardly ahead trying to be like, no, nah, I That's get fine. It. I think he's going to very insistently sort of like speed walk up next to you and be gesturing as he's speaking and just be like, if you need us to help you eat in a way, then we can try when we get out of here. I'm just suggesting that like you don't sneak off if you don't need to, because we've kind of all figured it out. I'm putting it out in the open. I think that it's a show of good faith. I'm making an attempt here. I know you snuck off that one time. You did sort of disappear, and I did kind of see you. Um, like, if she was pot, it's like her cheeks get, like, slightly darker gray, and she's like, well, he- I appreciate it. It's, it's weird. It's weird to be out in the world again and have to, you know, eat things. So. No, I understand. I don't, I don't let anyone touch me anymore since I've been out in the world. Like, it's very strange to adjust to, but if you need us to help you with the whole eating thing, I just, you deserve something larger than a rat. Well, this is just down. No, it's very economical. I will stop talking about it. What's the door like? <laughs> I'm still just sitting here going, I did not have that on my RP bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think if you're in, is he volunteering? Like, but it's also, the animals, uh, is he volunteering? Like, I mean, it kind of sounds like it, maybe. I'm no. not sure. Thirteen. I mean, if it's what he's into, I, didn't, I wouldn't Thank you. think that, that would be yeah, something I mean, that he'd be interested in. But they are larger animals and too. smaller than bird. Stop. <laughs> Just saying, well, that's what it sounds annoying. like you're offering. Uh, we don't know what you're into. Listen. Watch it. <laughs> Investigation on the door. Yeah. <laughs> 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 23. Silence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not locked. Cool. Cool. Not trapped. All right. Cool. Scotty! Mage hand! Yeah, you. Oh. She was like Wait. looking at the ceiling. No. <laughs> Use mage hand to open uh, the door, and you notice that um, immediately that there, while there is fog here and it's more dense than it was before the shadow curtain this room is full of very dense fog and it's almost waist deep um however annabelle make me a perception check as you're okay. kind of like at the front helming all mm -hmm. this stuff yeah um, um perception Go ahead, okay, go sorry. Ahead. No, no, no. Okay, uh, it's a 23. I perception. was about to start describing before hearing your <laughs> perception check. This is cool. really excited. She's yeah. really hyped about this room. Okay, so um, you see as, as this fog is kind of moving and it almost feels like organic in the way that it's moving or taking on a life of its own, but it's still just kind of fog. You can kind of see across the room that there is a table. And you're fairly certain there's a pile of gold shiny stuff on top of that table. I'm going to cautiously go on into the room and uh, check that out. All right. As, no. as you enter the room, Just a um, sec. you you get you're moving closer and closer and um like you get there and you can see at the table and you kind of take your hand and sweep away some of the fog and yeah there's a gigantic pile of gold right there can i check this table for any sort of trap some kind of like maybe if, like some sort of pressure thing if like there's not enough weight on it I don't know like this feels too good to be true yeah um make me a perception or an investigation check I will say at disadvantage because of the fog and Scotty okay. like peek in and look up at the ceiling 
absolutely. Make me a perception check. Oh, damn it. It was a... Oh, the, the better roll was a net 20. Damn it. It's fine. Uh, the perception will be a 17. Yeah, kind of checking around for traps, checking, like, putting the, the weight down to make sure there's no pe pressure plates anywhere around. You can't find anything that is trapped. Scotty, what was your perception for the ceiling? 14. 14. Mm, it's good for her. It's nothing on the ceiling that you can tell. We're clear. And I flip up a detect magic. Detect magic. Uh, there's nothing magical in the room. I'm, start I'm just watching Annabelle. Take an in. First, take a few pieces off of the pile. Okay. Yep. You, you grabbed a couple of gold. A handful. Like handful of gold. All right. Put that in the bag of holding. Mm -hmm. Can Scotty Grab another poke one? pile with like her mage hand? Yeah. Nothing. You, you poke it. It's a pile of gold. Okay. She's just kind of okay. going to watch the room, see if anything changes. And Anne will cautiously take like maybe like two more handfuls. And if still nothing happens, then she's just going to shovel all of it into the bag of holding. All right. So as you start shoveling it in. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is like, yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Indeed. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yep. More fluffs? She was trying to be cautious to see if anything would happen. Uh, does, uh, she does waited. A, does a 19 hit? It <gasps> does, yeah. Okay. So as you are pulling in these, the gold, you start seeing these, like, green, decayed-looking maggot things all oh. over Ooh. your hand. And it's all gross. Shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> and then as they're going, like as you see them crawling on you, uh -huh. two of them bite and submerge <laughs> underneath your skin. Shit. We're doing this again. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. And I need you all to roll me initiative. Fuck. Booty. Straight booty. Okay. okay. Okay, okay, So Annabelle went into the room. Everybody else was standing outside, correct? She has started uh, screaming. She started Scotty, yelling. Um, Scotty like, trying to swat things off of her arms. I think I would have stepped... Uh, Scotty stepped in. I think yeah. I would have as well... Okay. I'd have um, been like in the doorway still. So Annabelle will be forty feet from the door. Um about Scotty was how far did sorry. in and did you Scotty, did you go? Well I Mage Hand poked it and Mage Hand has a range of thirty feet, so I'm at least thirty feet in. Okay. Or thirty feet away from the table. Okay. Do you want to be closer is all I'm uh yeah, sure. How about twenty feet away, please? Yeah, I think Bjorn would have been kind of within helping distance, which for him right now is 20. He tends to be a little kind of like, uh, is something dicey about to happen to Annabelle? Like... How much damage did I take from that? Give me one second. Um, creep damage. So much creep damage. I'm assuming Sheer and Sullen stayed outside. Mm. Like in the doorway, I would say, since everyone else is in the room, but not like dicking around in the fuck. Hold the door! I'm like a step closer so I can like see everything in the room with my special eyes, but okay. that's kind of it. I'll put you right inside. Cheer, do you want to be brand. right inside or outside? Right inside, I guess, yeah. Something bad's about to happen in this room. Yeah, I don't like that question. Um, <laughs> so in the room where it happened. You take seven points of piercing damage. Can I use uncanny dodge on that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. I feel like it's like thematically. I don't I know. Say no, it... but. <laughs> It's that's like, that's why I ask because it seems like a weird sitch. Yeah. So. Up to you. What do you think? I'm gonna say no on okay. that just because it's good. weird to. 
yep. dodge it. Hard to dodge something that is on my hand and like, but it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Makes it. sense. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. So let's. Did I already say to go ahead and roll, roll initiative? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me roll mine. Um. Okay. It's fine. It's only three dice. Okay. Uh, 25 to 20. Uh, 26. We'll panic. This makes sense. Okay. Uh, 19 to 15? 19. Uh, nice. 15. 14. Oh. oh, look at us. 16? 14. 15. Sorry, I thought I was last. Or I thought I thought I was I thought I was before you. No, you're fine. Uh Sullen, no? what were you and what was Bjorn? No. Uh Bjorn 15, Sullen 14. Okay. Thank you. So it should be Annabelle, Scotty, Sheer, Bjorn, Sullen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. Annabelle, <gasps> mm -hmm. at the start of your turn, take an additional eight points of piercing damage. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Um, can I try to get these things out? All right, and let me. Annabelle starts screaming. The rest of us are like, what's up? <laughs> what's happening? Mm-hmm. Yeah. First things first, she's definitely going to run to the rest of the party. But <laughs> abandoning... Like, what, 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 what? <laughs> ah, ah, just like hands out in front of her like, ah! <laughs> Respond. Respond. Like brushing off the ones that haven't burrowed under yet. Like as she's running. Like... <laughs> Ugh. We're like, ooh. Mm. They see. Oh, hi there. Oh. A worm. Oh, hi, 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 Annabelle. A worm. I'm sorry. Uh, that's so mean. Uh, bug. <laughs> Annabelle's not here anymore. Covered in <laughs> worm. Found it. Found the worm. worm. Ah. Alright. Gonna get the eyes, the eyes. Annabelle. Okay. What would you like to do? I would like to as just a ton of these rotten maggot type things are just swarming mm -hmm. all over you. I wanna try and brush off brush them all off. All the ones that haven't burrowed under my skin yet, I wanna try and get them all off. Alright. Make me an attack roll. Okay. Could I maybe like disengage to do that, or actually, yeah. Would it be? Okay. Uh, yes, okay. you can. You can, roguey bonus action disengage. Thank you. Excellent. Great. Then I will do just that, and I will run over. Ah, hand the bell. <laughs> my friends, like help, 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 and then, and then I would like to try and get at the ones that are under my skin. All right. What are you doing? Uh, how, uh, God, <sighs> how deep does it look like they've gotten? <laughs> uh, right now, I would say that, um, they're, Mm 
Hmm. <laughs> they're if probably, they're not, they're probably not surface level. Okay. Okay. All right. Ugh. Okay. How similar does this seem to the time that this happened to Bjorn? Yeah. Um. It is fairly similar, but okay. A little different. Okay. Okay. Because we then, might remember that uh, what Hazel, I think Hazel did. Yeah. And well, what yeah, Hazel suggested. Me, which was a knife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think that's, she's going to try and, oh God, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt real bad. She's not doing great. All right. She's going to try and hit the ones that are under her that have burrowed in. Try and just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hurt herself in order to hurt it. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> uh, make so... me an intelligence check. Okay. All right. Ah, that's cocked. Okay. 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 Uh, it's an eighteen. Um. You remember in particular, uh with some of your shipfaring adventures, tales of um, certain kind of worms and uh, grubs like this and um, that fire can be effective, but you have a limited window in which it can be effective. And then... Mm -hmm probably needs something like what Hazel said before. Okay, cool. Then she'll just, in that case, then I will, uh, instead, I'll just, I'll fire a crossbow bolt at the swarm that's still over there. And then I'll just be like, fire, someone burn it, someone burn it out, someone burn it. I can burn it. And hey. I will try to attack the... You... One who lit the room on fire. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, that will be a 19 to hit against the remaining swarm. All right. And then that will do... Oh, if I don't just drop the dice. God damn it. Okay. Uh, 11 points of damage. Uh, it's not as it. effective as you think it'd be. Okay. Sounds good. That's it. And you keep moving? Uh, yeah, I can get, but actually, yeah, I can get uh, behind the two of you. So that'll be it. Scotty, it's your go. I don't want to get close to this mess at all. Um. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I uh, yep. So she is going to fire. Just doing math really quick. Okay, no, she's going to um, send a crackling bolt over to the pile of squirming. Grossness. Yeah. Only 14 hit. Yeah. Oh, sweet. That is a uh, five lightning. All right. That's it. All right. So me, you can see DM puts on the thingy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. From under the fog, crawling Shit. on the ground, no. charging yeah, what? No. forward. That's not cool. I need to switch to my other layer. Um. Ah. 
I love when the tokens seem like they're taking a jog, you know, like yeah, <laughs> they're really zooming. Uh -huh. Yep, What's yep, yep. Twenty eight days later effect. Yeah. <laughs> um, you see what appear to be zombies, but also covered in the same gross <laughs> oh, worm oh, oh. things. Um. Coming up to uh, Bjorn, making two attacks. That's a a fourteen and a fifteen to hit. Nope. And then make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh no! Uh, I this this though the, my classic question is it an effect I can see? <laughs> it's not an effect. It's just okay. throwing worms. <laughs> Listen, I'm more of effects. It's the obligatory. Uh, Dex save, you said 17. 17. That succeeds. Okay, and then the other one will. Oh, wait. That would have been. Because that would have been with advantage, so that would miss too. So uh, this one will do its two attacks. Uh, will miss, and that will be a uh, twenty-four to hit that time. Yeah, all right. Um, so that's six points of slashing and. Four points of necrotic damage and make me another dexterity saving throw. Oof, duh. All right. Uh, that's gonna be a nine. So. Okay, um, it uh, lands on you, and then the other one is going to take two attacks at Scotty. Uh, one will miss, the other one is a 25 to hit. He'll take it. That is five points of slashing, and six points of necrotic and make me a dexterity saving throw. That is a 13. All right. It throat launches worms at you, but you duck out of the way. Ah! This is awful. This is awful. Things are bad. We should go. We should get out of here. And uh, Scotty, it is your go. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I just went. I just went. I oh, threw yeah, lightning oh, at yeah, the yeah, pile yeah, of That's yeah. right. Sorry. That's there's too many S's. I'm just throwing it out there. There's too many S's. <laughs> Modifying my. Well, wait, I can't. I'm sorry. All my alternate names also start with S. <laughs> this yeah, so, OK, so I'll change the name of the backup character then. <laughs> yes. Mm. like to point out I'm the original S, S1, S to the power mm. one. <laughs> Sheer. As prime. Here we go. All right. Uh, Sheer is gonna just see them flinging worms, but also know that Annabelle called out and sprint down over this direction and be like, "You said burn it," and just like see what yep, Annabelle yep, holds yep. out to burn. I'll, but whichever arm they're in. <laughs> Uh, oh. hi. uh, are you left-handed or right-handed? Uh, let's say she's right-handed. Okay, high or low? Oh Ooh. no, uh, high. Uh, it is indeed your right hand. <sighs> Damn right. it. Damn it. Okay, all right. Yep, yep. Right she's arm. gonna pull it out. Yeah. Okay, and then just, I am going to just, you know, burn her little arm with a little bit of fire bolts. Uh, I'm not gonna make you roll to hit because she's 
freely willing, just roll damage. Come on, battles. I believe in you. I okay. know it. Oh, shit. Oh, God, that's gone. Uh, nine points of fire damage. <laughs> say more. Say more right now. I'm conscious. All right. How? Just barely. <laughs> How's the worm situation? I, I'm, I'm looking. That's... Okay. Um, this is a peace sign and also. <laughs> so you, you take eight of that damage. Okay. Annabelle. All right. In that case. They have two hit points. Great. <laughs> I, I have I have three now. I, I only this took many. eight. I have this many. This many. Uh, I, okay. Yeah. Then I just have like, okay. And I just back up. <laughs> what I just do. <laughs> Until I go over here. Uh, and. Yeah, that'll be my turn. Yes. All right. Bjorn. Uh, I'm gonna take the free action and kind of be like, are we getting out of here or are we fighting? Let's go! Let's go! Let's get out. Uh... They open doors? I don't there's know. The, door you the way we came in! in. The way yeah, we came there's in! there's in here. Yeah. Back out! Back out! Yeah, uh... Alright. <laughs> um... Then I'll make the decision to chance the opportunity attacks here and, uh, get, get over towards the door. Well, okay, One wait, hold this. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I shove Annabelle out, use my first attack action to shove Annabelle out of melee or like move Annabelle? Uh, oh, Annabelle can disengage. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I can just, yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be okay. I can do Scotty. I can do Scotty though. It's fine. <laughs> Scotty, you want a hand? You want a hand? Get yourself outside. It's okay, fine. I got right. it. I can take the hits. Let's go. Right. Run. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Okay. Opportunity to tax ahoy. So you two are going to hit. Okay. Um, Cause that's fine. The 24 and then uh 25 on the other. That's fine. So that's uh, seven. Uh, 13 points of slashing Good okay. and eighteen points of necrotic. Yeah, yours not looking great. Uh I'm gonna get as far as I can though, which is there. So alright, I'm good. I end my turn. Alright. At the end of your turn. Shit. Wait, can I... Is it possible for me to hold an action if one of them tries to attack me? Um... So I technically didn't use an action. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um... Uh, at the end of your turn, you take seven points of necrotic damage. As Wait, am I the wormed? Worm. You're wormed. But burrows know, under warm. the skin. Great. Okay. I fully admit I didn't know I was wormed. Uh, could I have used an action to have removed the worms? You could have. Can I, can I still do that by the DM grace, or would you prefer I didn't? I would prefer you didn't, okay. just because it's kind of like... Or am I mistaken and was Scotty wormed? I know one of the two of you got wormed, because you well, failed you told the, me dexterity. I was... the dexterity. Yeah, you told me throw. I was hit. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I just didn't, I don't think I knew it was a worm scenario. You, you rolled nine on your dex save. Yes, yeah. I... 
failed a save and then you said that hits and I went, okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm warmed. All right. Sullen, it is your go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look at Bjorn and go, oh God, I'm sorry. And sort of take like, hold on. I need a ruler. Uh, give me roll 20. Thank you. Um, I don't even need to move forward, but um, I'm going to kind of like crush that one feather between my hands again, and I'm going to turn undead. Uh, so all of the little nasties in the room do have to make another whiz saving throw of a DC 14. Okay. Two with the green are turned. Okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna call out to Shea and be like, we're leaving. Come on, everybody, let's get out here. Uh, and open the door if I can. Yeah. Unless that's an, a whole action. Nah, I, I assumed it wasn't closed. Closed, honestly. closed. Okay. I'm gonna put my body like halfway out the door, like, <laughs> you know. Uh, and that's it. That's all I can do. All right. Uh, okay. Worm. <laughs> Uh, nope, nope don't like that. Nope. Mm -mm. That's bad. All the robots. Why, why are there worm piles? No. <gasps> no. 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 <laughs> All right. What? 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 Daddy. Uh huh. Ah. Uh. You're covered in worm pile stuff, ah! but it, it. They try to bite you, and you're just flailing around going ah and, uh, against the armor yeah ping, it's ping. ping yeah that's good they're just pinging against the armor yes oh like no warm hail and then <laughs> we're not and done then. with the and fun then. things that are in this room oh no, no. oh boy mm. against sheer uh one will i assume will miss because it's only going to be a 10 the other will hit with a 21. Uh, she is going to scream and attempt to slap it and cast silvery barbs all right <laughs> uh i rolled the exact same thing Son of a bitch! Okay. It, um, it was a 15 and then a 15. I uh, yeah, I'll give Scotty advantage on the back side of that though. Thank you! Uh so that's ten points of slashing damage. Okay. Cool. Top of the round is Annabelle. Hey, okay, I am going to Look to Scotty first and be like, "You, you're right. You get. You get out. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm going. And I'm going to bonus action disengage, and fucking book it. All right. And which will take me out into the hall, and that with my movement. And I guess 
hold an action to run as soon as my friends are out of the room. Absolutely. Scotty. Uh, uh, what are the green dots? Sorry. Uh, those are, they... are the ones that are turned. They're, turned. they're currently terrified of me. Okay, and their reaction we'll has away. been eight. Yeah. Sorry, the the, yeah. the, the new things through a... All of the uh, the spawn of Caius's have been, like, yeah, um, have had their reactions done. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're fine. Okay, new things throw a wrench in things. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying cheer. I'm doing math. You're just oh, yelling. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like, I'm also just over here. It's like, Little oh, vampire oh. buddy, hold on. I made a bad choice when I go against this wall. I figured we were fighting things. No. Okay, so five, ten. Shove this vampire five feet away from sheer. Okay. So. Um, it can choose acrobatics or athletics. And I have, is that, uh, was that on attacks or was it abilities? Cheer for um, Silvery Barbs. Oh, wait, no, it's attack. It's, it's a special melee attack, right? I don't know if well, Silvery Barbs uh, counts for shove or not. Let me hear. Isn't it just a reroll? Uh, you can choose the... a... It wasn't Silvery Barbs, was it? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it also gives... The chosen creature has advantage on the next attack roll, ability check, or saving throw it makes within a minute. I would like to use that to give myself advantage on this. All right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Check, check, check. So that's athletics for me. So that is math. Uh, the 23. It's shoved. Ah, okay. All right, and then... Um, 10. What's the ruling on going through doors that allies are standing in front of? I know Annabelle can make it because she uh, broke shit. I'm like flattened up against the side. You can scoot. You can scoot. Yeah, you can make it through. I've established in the canon that I am not in the way. Alright, so I have 510. I have 20 feet of movement left. If I want to grab Sheer and take her with me... Um, You'll get 10 feet. I will get to 10 feet, so... You're grabbing. It's your Could I half. put... Yeah, could I, could I put Sheer... Give her the... I want Sheer in front of me as we are going. Is there any way to do that? <laughs> so I'm dragging her. Hey. Next. And you're not next. <laughs> Something else is next. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Um, um. Sorry, I math. Oh, I'm taking forever. Uh. Okay. I I will five can... ten. I will go here in front of Bjorn, and if she can go here next to me. Okay. With that. Yep. Okay. Um, she will attempt to be barrier and protect Sheer a little bit so she can at least get outside door. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's my turn. That's it. All right, can I do anything in my bonus action? Yeah, I can. I'm going to use my second wind, please, and thank you. That guy will move over here for turned. As will that guy. This guy will nice. run forward. I deserve that. Ooh, uh, so it's a 17, which will miss, but the 24 to hit. She'll take it. All right. Oh, as of right now, I have nice hit points. It's not going to last, but... Six points of slashing damage. 
Yep, that's gone already. And uh, six points of necrotic damage. Wait. Make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I should have saved it for this. It's okay. I like sheer better than myself. Oh, 30, 20. All right. No worms land on you. Oh, okay. Okay. Run, Sheer, get out. Sheer, it is your go. Go, go, go. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll go. Um... Does it opportunity attack Scotty if I just try and drag Scotty with my movement? I wouldn't, but you would because yeah. you're in reaction range and they just got their turn. You can yeah, use so... your action to disengage and then mm -hmm. move away. Yeah. I'll be okay. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'll, I'll disengage and then use my movement and then go out the door. Uh, yeah, it's fine. That's what I'm doing. Go set Wait. Annabelle on fire if she still needs it. <laughs> or if anyone else has them. Bjorn, it is your go. Um, are you still good, Scotty? Do you need anything? I think I'm good. All right. Get up. All right. Come on. He's <laughs> Bjorn's not looking so hot. No. Uh, she's fine. She looks good. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here then. I'll just get out into the, uh, the hallway here. Uh, if I can keep. I guess line of s um, Take Sullen with you. Ask for permission first. <laughs> what do you think, Bird Boy? Are we out of here? <laughs> yeah, let's fucking go. All right. Uh, I, I can only take him 10 feet, but come with me. Come over here. <laughs> God. Uh, actually, Just can gotta I... gotta be able to close that door. Can I come here, uh, whatever, wherever, and wait and hold the action to, sh to slam the door as soon as Scotty's out? Yes. Where am I going? Here? Here. Wherever you want. There you go. Like, cool. That's fine. Go as far as I can physically go. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it for me. At the end of your turn, take six points of ne necrotic damage. Oh, God. <sighs> All right. I forgot about the fucking worms again. <laughs> Set oh. my brother on fire, Sheer, please. <laughs> Yeah, man. He's, he's, he's Burn the worms! To, Do it. Other, he's trying to deal well, with other people, man. I will happily cauterize everyone's flesh in like two seconds. <laughs> um, how many hit points does Bjorn have left? Uh, not a lot. Four. Okay. Hey, uh, it's a good <laughs> club. Yeah. Let's go. Shit, you fucking guys, come on. Uh. Um, Sullen. Yes. Make me an intelligence check. I would love to. It can also be history. Uh, <laughs> the dice are not fun. Um, is this for the 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 uh, disease thing mm -hmm. for lesser restoration? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I got a fourteen. Okay. Fire won't work. Okay. Cool. Um. That point, okay. It really is gonna take that. Yep, yep, yep. Um, we have to get you somewhere. I can heal you. Uh, frick, I am gonna grab Bjorn's arm and healing hands with my action for eight points. It just automatically applies. Because uh, we're gonna go through another turn order before I can do that. Um, and then, yeah, I'm... I'm booking it. It's book it time. I'm going back to the room with the dust. Is that the call? I think Annabelle's already like. Yeah, you're already going. I'm like, following Annabelle as far as I can. Would, go. Yeah, because I was holding an action to run once friends were yeah. out of the room. So yeah. I think she's heading whatever direction that was, and like waving everybody to follow. Yes. Uh, and that's all I can do. All right. Mm. That menacing ruler. Bring it. It's 
Annabelle was tempted by the gold. Scotty was tempted to save the friends. It's fine. Uh, sorry. <laughs> nope, it's good. Get out. Both miss. Ah, oh. I rolled a seven and a five. Oh. No way. Thank I'm you, Plate. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Top of the round, Annabelle. I'm booking it. I, I, yeah, booking it. Yeah. So I guess I can. Is it this way? Is this the? Yeah. Well, I guess it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. However far I can get, which is what seventy-five feet. Yeah. Scotty. I would like to leave this room, please. Right. Um. Can vampires open doors? I would assume they have thumbs. Yes. Guess so. This is their home already. They don't have to be invited in. <laughs> um. <laughs> wait, Annabelle, can you lock it? <laughs> ah! Yeah, she's Everybody gonna yell just, back. Just I'll, break I'll... the lock. Just break it. Just break it. True enough. True enough. True enough. Just break it. Does breaking the lock shut the door, or like? Well, if you pull the doorknob off. Sometimes. It depends. It depends on the door. DM, what's the doorknob like? What's the doorknob situation? What's the what's the jam and some metal in there situation? I'm messing with you. Please don't listen to me. Please, please don't. Please, this is not real. I'll, yeah, you can break it and, like, break the log. All right, and that would be her action if she did that? Yeah. Okay, then, yeah, she will take the opportunity attacks to get outside the door. Bjorn slams the door. Please and thank you. Neither one of them come close to your AC. Thank you. And then, yeah, she will break this lock. All right. Um, okay. Uh, you feel like maybe they're trapped? Is, who knows the lock how long till they can I, I know the lock's broken. Is there like a keyhole? Yes. And you see through the keyhole. Yes. Not through the keyhole. Sure. You you see uh these creatures just approaching. Fireball? Because it's just a moat. Yeah. It just goes through. Yeah, you just need line of sight, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'll back up. Just uh Am I backing up? Can you do it without hit me? Do you want me to keep holding the door? Well, I mean like I would do it. Okay. There you go. Far, far enough inside. We've figured out geometry at this point. Because of these people. I think like Annabelle's like lingering down the hall, like waiting for everyone else to like catch up. Like, come on! I rolled single digits on everything, so everything nice. fails. Okay, cool. Why is this gonna be math on the right thing? Um, it's uh, 23 points of fire damage and then just scooting away quickly, I guess. All right. You hear some hissing and crying out. And as you uh, disappear. And move away. Um, would... I know at this point that fire is no longer effective. You would know based on that conversation with um, with Hazel. Yeah, okay. Um, that once it got to a certain point, fire was no longer effective. Mm -hmm. Can I medicine check? I don't have a spell slot. How many actions do I get before it's bad? Uh, cause I can Pearl of Power and then Lesser Restore. Alright, uh, Healing Word, if she can. Scotty will Healing Word. 
Uh, Bjorn, give him a little bit. Um, you can go ahead and do a medicine check. Go ahead and do the healing word. Shit, sorry. Uh, 16. Yeah. Sorry, 15. Great. Free healing? It's bad and he's not going to last long. Okay. Uh, can I use my action to restore a spell slot? Are we out of turn order? I'm sorry. You're... I'll say you're out of turn order. But Bjorn's turn was next. Okay. In the order. Okay. And you took... With the healing word happening simultaneously, it's he's going to take damage simultaneously right now. Okay. It's 11 points of necrotic damage. Okay, I'm still up. Okay. Okay, uh... Nope. No, you're not up? No, I'm up, sorry. Oh, I, okay. I fucked Don't. my shoe. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sorry I'm freaking you out. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, I... Yeah, I'm gonna pull the worms out and cast a luster restore on him. All right. As fast as I can. Okay. Uh, I'm like pulling on everybody that I can to like get us back to this room that's full of dust and chairs. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, he's trying to keep moving as much as he can. Uh, Scotty will drag him. Or at least hold him up and halfway carry him. Annabelle's struggling, but keeping up as best as she can, too. Okay. Yeah, I think we're getting back as fast as we can for what it's mm -hmm. worth. Yeah. We need some place that we we can't keep going on like this. We can stay here. No, I'm I'm sorry. I... Thank no. you, Sullen. I... It's all right. It's all of us are hurt. Every single one of us are hurt, and we're even worse if we're not able to make it through the next few things before we even get to where we're supposed to be going. We don't know how much longer we have. I know. Can we barricade the door? Can we stay here? Can we rest, sleep, truly? I think at this point we need to. If we die before we even get to the end, it won't be... We won't be able to do anything about it. We can. If we stop here, there's a chance we're not going to be able to stop them. This is... I know. It's a risk. We're in the Shadowfell. Yeah. Time moves weird here. Who knows what's going on the other side? Yeah. It could be collapsing around us when we wake up. If we wake up. Because we did leave those things alive out there. We can take watches, and we have to heal. We don't have a choice. We can't, but we also can't spend 10 to 12 hours down here. If we're sleeping, we're all sleeping. I only need four hours. Okay, then if you're all right with us doing eight hours, then we can do exactly eight. Yeah, I, I know it's a gamble. We're trying to move as quickly as possible, but... I think no, all of us are so you're low. You're right. I, Scotty, I, just, I know you and share both the AI. We shouldn't. I know what you're be saying. this bad off. We should have been better. We should have been tighter before this. Maybe, but there's nothing we can do about that now. I mean, there isn't. It certainly isn't. And honestly, if we die here, there's no guarantee that well we're actually dead and not actually contributing to whatever's happening not only are we useless to ourselves if we do die but i don't know what the freaking bird of what shah is actually doing with any of the misery down here what if you die and it actually contributes and makes things harder for everyone else we can't keep going we can't we could have made things easier for everyone which i know is moot i just i don't disagree but looking backwards doesn't 
help at this point. It's... We have to gamble. We choose to move forward and... I don't know how much longer we can go, or we choose to hope that we rest and then we can still make it in time. Personally, I'm in favor of resting. Cher is like pacing and like without intending, like her hideous form is like starting to like pop a little bit. Like she's very agitated. She is also like seeing all of you and like knowing what's going on is like, motherfucker. We're all so hurt, every one of us. You are too, Cher. We wouldn't be okay if you hadn't healed both of us. Let's make a promise. We yeah. stop here, we rest. We learn. We talk about how things went badly. We figure out how things could have gone cleaner, could have gone better. We do better next time, especially if we make it out of here and we have to do another keep where it's time race. Yeah. I made a fey bargain, and we're going to lose this time by sleeping, especially with us being in the Shadowfell. You're not losing what you give up, Scotty. You but saved it, us days. You made it so that we could get here at all. I, I would have still tried. Feels like, it feels like that for... I could have gone home. I could have gone home to my family. Scotty could have her power still and her story. I Guess think what we're doing here matters. Everything that we've all put on the line matters. And it doesn't and we're change going to it, sleep even down if we... here. If we die, that's really when it doesn't matter. Staying alive yeah. so that we can keep trying. Nothing yeah. that any of we us learn. Have... Yeah. And I agree with yeah. you. We do better. Yeah. We get stronger every Almost. day. We already have, and we are going to keep doing so. I'm sorry. Yeah, I I need to apologize for that back there. It's that was that was me. I was reckless. I I shouldn't have <laughs> too good to be true. I shouldn't have touched that at all. And but we've all made reckless decisions. It's, it's okay. I, I caused you all a lot of trouble as well. We do the best that we can. Sometimes we make mistakes. But we're in it together, and we do the best that we can. We're not giving anything up, and we're not giving it up on each other either. I do have a theory that if any of us die down here, or if anything, well... If your soul gets sucked up into some kind of Shah ritual, then... Well, either you become shadow magic, like all of the cultists dying end up becoming, or you're going to end up in some kind of stasis where you're actually getting used for evil in general, so... Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. It would kind of That'd be terrible, be, and I'm not getting any of you out of a ball. I couldn't bear it. I what? don't think that you're wrong, but coming from a line of people who do shit like this... Shira, you said you only have to sleep four hours. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind keeping an eye out, watching us, for the other four? I, well, I mean, obviously I will, or right? well, I'll trap in the room. Everyone, just let's. She like sits down and instantly just like just starts trying to like go to bed. She's like, shit, we've been talking. Annabelle, do you have yeah. any more traps left that we can put on this door, or does uh, it have to be open from the other side? Um, I can. Uh, traps work. I, had, I have the one that'll charm someone, but I don't know how useful that'll be down here. I, I mean, I can not. lock it there, and I can, we can barricade it, couple... it. Yeah. Yeah. I can, uh, I don't know. Well, first, listen to the door. Does it seem like anything's coming? No. no? Okay. Yep. Lock the door and barricade it. Yeah. Thank you, all of you, for saving my life. Likewise. And every time we've... <laughs> every time that it's ever happened before. Likewise. 
We have a lot to do, and well, we're doing it for each other. And for the world, yeah. apparently. <laughs> yeah, that much is very clear. <laughs> yeah. I can stay up for a while. You you all sleep. I'll keep watch for a bit. I'll while she or get some rest. I can wake one of you in a bit, I guess. Annabelle, you need to sleep yeah, you too. Hear Sheer say No. <laughs> Close your goddamn eyes. Fine, then the... who's gonna watch first? No one right. no one. We got Are you staying up then? Cher. Sure. No, we are chancing it. Is that not the thing? What's the matter? Right. If we're sure. Does it make sense if we're risking it? Okay. It's a gamble one way or another, but Alright, yeah, fair. Yeah. Habit. <laughs> I understand. For all the dusty furniture in front of the door. Mm-hmm. All people. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Scatty will put her hammer as well. <laughs> World's biggest doorstop. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. Most effective doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scotty. <laughs> All right. Consolation prize. You made it out with about 126 gold. Hey! <laughs> Again, we'll spend some time, like, while getting ready for bed, just, like, kind of going through, like, okay, what did I actually manage to get? Okay. And then, I don't know, I think yeah. she'll linger awake for a bit while the others f- fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Annabelle. I would say she is not fine, really fine. asleep I'm... also until everyone else is, like, laying down. <laughs> She's, like, sitting grossly, like porcelain doll still against the wall but like she's like also making sure you all fucking go to sleep <laughs> scotty is like gonna... grumpy child and then passes out yeah <laughs> i'm gonna sleep i'm just i'm just going through some things go rest rest i'm fine i'll be i'm gonna go to bed in a sec annabelle i'm going to i promise you, promise. you need sleep you almost do. died i i know i know i will I promise. I trust you. Please sleep. I will. Yeah, Bjorn will go to go to bed. And then once it's, I think Annabelle just kind of lay awake for a little bit. And then once she's pretty certain that everybody's asleep, she's gonna go into her bag. And she's gonna sneak a swig of a certain potion. <laughs> she perceive this. Annabelle, make me a sleight of hand check. Gladly. Yeah, sure. She'll make the perceive. perception check. Yeah, it's okay. DC. 22. Oh, yes. Would it be two stealth since she's swiping it and then drinking it? <laughs> Which die do I, bl- I believe in you? Give Sheer a chance here. Come on. <laughs> I mean, it's a natural 20, but like, Ooh. I don't think it beats your thing. What is it? What am I looking at? Perception? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a minus one. <laughs> it's very hurtful. Dice. Just very hurtful. <laughs> They tried their best, but they're going up against the Annabelles. <laughs> I hear rustling and see nothing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're grumbling. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Then go to sleep. Sorry, chat. We're going to run long tonight. Um... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. <gasps> Me? No. <laughs> like, right as you enter your rim cycle, uh, in hindsight, I should have asked you how to pronounce this name. Tell us 
what your twin's voice sounds like. Twin voices? I mean, I it. I feel like it would be like, you know, Shears accent, maybe like a little deeper, like big, strong woman version of it. And is it Sune? Cannon. Cannon. Okay. <laughs> you see her in all of her full armor just sitting beside you in this dank dusty room it's been a while Uh, yeah. Like, kind of figuring it is a weird dream. Uh, yeah, it's definitely been a while. I'm sure you're out in the world doing great things and slaying great monsters. She looks at you a little confused. You mean you're not here to rescue me? What do you mean? I'm here to stop a ritual. If I be rescuing you, where are you? We were... We were fighting this... devil and shit went sideways. I'm trapped in a soul coin. Turns and reaches out and tries to touch her. Her hand goes through her. <clears throat> Where down here are you? I'm in your bag. sure would like start awake at that because she doesn't really have a bag <laughs> like it would be like a falling over the handlebars sort of thing and as you wake up you see your comrades asleep no sune i start no coin getting around the room nothing else has changed not a thing has it been four hours or am I do I have to go back to sleep you need to go back to sleep it's probably been about like 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like start like taking deep, unnecessary breaths, like trying to just like calm and just, like refocus on just like resting. Very concerned. Very concerned. We'll come back to you in a second. Oh. Annabelle. Yep. This time, knowing what to expect, you feel the falling, the crash of the water, and then darkness.
Well, I suppose I'll dispense with some of the theatrics. <laughs> yeah, a um, little transparency is nice for a change. And you see a giant owl towering above you. At her full height, she's she's not quite Viking size. She's close. Still about two Annabelles. Yeah. <laughs> so. What would you like to know? <laughs> you said. You said I wasn't ready. Not yet. For that door? Well, arch, technically. No. Well, maybe not that. But I'm ready to talk. Oh. And she does the owl thing where her head turns almost an unnatural way. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to make a deal? Oh, that depends. I want my memories back. I want my sister back. A way to help her. A real concrete definitive way to actually <laughs> none of this vague nonsense There's something I can do and I want to do it with full knowledge of what all happened? Very well. But first, I also want clear terms. What do you get? What do you want? You said you want me last time, but that's not clear enough. Would you believe me if I said that all I want is to give you the power for you <laughs> to find your sister? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't believe you. If that's all you want. Because if that's... If that is even partially true, then that means you get something out of that. I want to know what that is. Honestly, I just know how much it's going to upset poor little Sullen. And that's what I take gratitude in. Leave him out of this. Fine, I'll leave. We don't have to make a deal. No! It's not what I meant and you know it. I will give you your memories back. I will even bestow you power so that you can find your sister and be reunited with her. Stop her from destroying the world and get back what time you have left together. I will continue to grant you power as long as you continue on your quest to find your sister. And if something happens to interrupt that? Or when the quest ends? I won't take it away from you unless you try to defy me.
Anything else you expect to be asking from me along the way? No. Nothing that I can foresee right now. Hmm. You may do things along the way. I, for one, just feel that our goals align right now. It doesn't make me feel better about this, but not that that matters. Like I said, I don't see anyone else trying to help you. How do I know for certain that you can actually do this? She extends a large feathered wing and taps you on the forehead. And you vividly recall being on the deck of a ship. And then you hear, Captain, we have enemies to the port side. Captain, we also have enemies to the starboard side. Oh God, they're coming from all sides. Get the girls below deck. You see crackling lightning as the saturation changes and cranks up as you're standing on the deck of the ship. Nephon and Deluc grab you, tell you to go below deck, find Ellie. And then you snap to and you see the owl. What'll it be? Deal. Very well. She walks up and engulfs you with her black feathered wings, pulling you in. And as she does so, the memory continues. You go down below the deck. You find Ellie hiding in her spot that she normally hides. Annie, what's happening? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. There's something something coming up on all surrounded. We're first surrounded. I, they sent me down to get you. We need to stay down here. It's 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 bad up there. You see Nephon and Deluc turn as those sea creatures that you've seen so many times try to attack you and take you below deck or below the water. Come fa back. Falling in and begins fighting. Um, one of them is able to break past the defenses of uh, Deluc and grabs Ellie. She screams out. What do you do? I am screaming and running after her. You dart forward. Um, make me an attack roll. Uh, with my current stats or with like... With your current stats. Okay, cool. Uh, that's a... Oh God, I'm shaking. Okay, uh, 24 to hit. 24. You hit. It drops Ellie. What do you do? Uh, I grab her and I try to run below deck with her. Okay. You run below deck and you're cut off by another one of those creatures. Attacking There's... that one. Roll to hit. 
uh, a uh, uh, 21 to hit. Okay, you hit it, but you can see that your path is blocked. Um, there are enough of them down here now at this point. You think if you try, you can get above deck. <sighs> try to get anywhere safe with right, Ellie. Make me, ap- yeah. make me acrobatics. Okay. Uh, that's, ugh, that's garbage. That's a 10. Okay, you get it, but one of them slashes out as you're running up the stairs mm-hmm. and, like, the back of your leg. You have this big gash on your leg. And it's you're pushing Ellie forward. She's, she's pushing running. her to safety. Ellie, I'm scared. What are we, what's going on? I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't know. I'm coming. You look on the the deck of the ship and you see this horrid looking creature that looks very similar to Helga that you met all that long ago but (sighs) not the same woman with these elongated fingernails grabbing the side of the ship and pulling herself up she has this glowing purple hair and she looks at the two of you and immediately descends upon you. What are you? I'm doing? putting Ellie behind me and with my sword drawn to defend her as best as I can. Roll to attack. Okay. Uh that is a 27. You hit her. She hit she growls out at you, makes another slash. It gashes you across the uh across the shoulder this time. Um and then she steps forward, points at you, and then with her hand, flings you across the deck magically. She looks at Ellie, steps forward. No! Begins to open a portal. No! Grabs Ellie. What are you doing? I, I'm running for them. Everything I've got. As you run forward, all three of you end up in this weird kind of almost looks like subterranean lair. And the saturation is cranked way, way up. You spend days, weeks, not really sure how long, trapped in a cage. You see all manner of vile concoction created. One day, Ellie is able to sneak a little bit of metal over to you. And you're able to make a lockpick from what you have. Try to unlock your cage. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, halfling shit, halfling shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Uh um uh 21. 21. You're able to <sighs> unlock it. And now I'm going for Ellie's. Okay. Uh 18. It breaks. No, no, no. It, it, uh, it's, it's okay. Get out. No, she's coming, no, I'm not she's leaving you. Back. No, shut up. Shut, shut up. I'm coming, not leaving you. She's coming Shh. back. Just leave. Just go. I'm going I'll back into okay. my cage. I'm going back into my cage and I'm shutting the door, pretending like it's locked. All right. She, I'm not leaving her. Like, like Meg from, if this is a deep cut, from Legend, the, like, the... <laughs> Like with the hunched back and the elongated fingers and the drooping just coming in. Yes. I think it's about time.
time for a tasty little treat. And she walks over to Ellie's cage and pulls out a key and begins mm -hmm. to unlock. I'm gonna go. I'm going up to the bars. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! No! Leave her alone! Shush! I'm saving you for a special Take occasion. Take me instead! No. Me instead! No. He begins to unlock the cage, and Ellie's just crying. I'm bursting um, out. As right. soon as she's grabbed her, I am bursting out. All right, make me um, just roll the hit. Okay. Uh, on our strike or like? <laughs> uh, no. Just what should use, I add? Just use your regular. Okay. Okay. Cool. Twenty one. All right. You shoulder charge her, kind of catching her by surprise, and at the exact same time, Ellie's cage is open. What are you doing? I am going to uh, <laughs> yell, "Run, Ellie! Get out of here!" And I'm right behind you. Ellie begins to run. Um. Similar to Helga's area, you remember seeing an archway. That you see here. And now it's clicking in your head. You also saw a similar thing at Keegan's Keep. You have now seen another archway at another keep. This is a portal. Uh huh. Okay. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm gonna like take one more blow against this tag. If it's like maybe, maybe like like jamming my fingers in her eyes, and then I'm booking it for Absolutely. after Ellie. I'm running after her to catch up. All right. She's just she's running. There's. It looks like one path that you can go through. Um. If I catch up to her, I'll grab her hand and. You Keep have running. you have a long hallway. You also have an archway to the right. What are you doing? Come on, let's go through here. It'll get us out. What? It's just a wall. Come on, what come are you on. talking about? Come on, come on. Trust me. Oh, okay. I trust you. I'm gonna just give her hand a squeeze and then pull us through the archway. You go through the archway. And then suddenly, it's as if everything is grayscale. And you're in a city full of muck and just the dirtiness of, uh, of a large city, mud everywhere, refuse on the ground. Everything is just gray. And you see in the distance, looks like a woman with a cloak and two daggers. Or is that a rapier? No. It's two daggers. And then she stops. Her back's to you. She turns and looks at both of you. Putting Ellie behind me again. Kind of smiles. been a while. Miss you. What's that supposed to mean? It's kind of weird. You're here, but this is not the right time. You've done this before. Who the fuck are you? You may do it again. I'm not really sure. Time's... Leave us alone. Weird. Here. Hmm. We don't want any trouble. <laughs> That's funny coming from a Tully. How do you know our name? 
How do you know who we are? I know quite a lot. I know... That that one... Pointing to Ellie. Squeeze her hand. Very precious. And you're not laying a finger on her. Maybe. No. Maybe not. You're not. Make me a perception check. Oh no. Ooh, uh, that's a 13. Okay. Still got Ellie's hand in mine, standing in front of her protectively. She squeezes it. Leave us alone. You see... You kind of take it in now a little bit as you're darting around trying to constantly figure out what the exit is, always <laughs> knowing where yeah. an exit yeah. can be. Just mm -hmm. it's to a casual observer, it would seem as if you're focused on this woman, but you're also taking in your the entirety of your surroundings and you notice this is a port city. And that looks like the riptide. Gonna kind of slowly start edging in that direction. And as you do, unfortunately, you didn't realize that you were getting surrounded. <sighs> and you hear. Ellie cry out. Nope! And as you turn to grab her, you realize she was crying out for you. Because as you look down, you see the wound and you collapse to the ground <gasps> and then you are in the water and you see you looking at you and you try to say something to yourself but nothing comes out and then it feels like an eternity and you can feel yourself behind you and then there you are and you try to call out again but you you see yourself panicked and swimming away from you swimming down further to what you don't know and there you are again Stabbing you this time. <laughs> and then you come to. And you see the owl. The deal is. The deal is done. You can find her. Where? Continue on the path. <laughs> She's after the keeps. She's trying to release the woman that you met in the shadow fell. Because that woman took her in. <laughs> that woman raised her when you shut it. Nope. 
It wasn't my fault. I couldn't do anything. I, I should have. I... <sighs> She just falls to her knees, crying. And the owl will fade away. Annabelle. Yeah. You feel power coursing through your veins. What does your eldritch energy look like? Um, <clears throat> I think it kind of has almost like a fluid quality to it, like deep, deep, deep seawater. That really dark greenish blue kind of hue to it. Like the water that she's swam through in all those dreams. Sheer. Oh, now what does this is? This is where you end the episode, right? As, so you, cool as you wake up <laughs> in that moment and you look around. Make me the perception check. <laughs> Seven. Okay. Annabelle. Uh huh. So. Make me a charisma saving throw. <laughs> ah! Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, that's a. 17. Your hit points I mean, drop to zero. Make me a death saving throw. My passive perception is at least like 11. 17. Okay. Make me another. Ah! Can I make another perception check? The second one was a 19. Make me one more. Ah! 17 again! Ah. Annabelle. Yeah. There's a moment as all of that memory comes rushing to you of you dying. You feel the pain in your lungs as you can't breathe. And then suddenly, there. <gasps> You're alive. And you have a level of warlock. Mechanically. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end the episode. I'm not going to max out my microphone screaming, but I do want to, you know, <laughs> like. <laughs> it's oh. the silent. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Up at all. Yes. Oops, Annie, I swear to God. <laughs> well, someone had to max their mic. Annie, yeah. are you OK? <laughs> I'm not OK. Are you OK? <laughs> You have been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth owl. <laughs> what happened if you got like a zero on that charisma saving throw? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Hold on, I'm clipping. <laughs> I just... If I could roll anything for perception, just one. <laughs> I just want to once roll. I mean, I did roll a natural 20 on something useless earlier, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> So we would like to go around and do a round of shout outs. Sure. Yeah, I can I can get my shit together no. in like the next ten seconds. Ah. <laughs> no. More D and D. It's four more hours. Four more hours. Let's go. <laughs> Ashley Johnson. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't I don't even remember who I am anymore. But uh <laughs> I've been sitting on that one for a long time. Wee woo wee woo. It's all I've been able to think about all week. <laughs> Some stuff. A level of warlock? Well, do we all get a level of warlock? It's full party level of warlock, right? <laughs> no. Warlock. No. Level. It's just a free. You've got the eldritch knight. You've already got it covered, man. <laughs> man, deal with Thor. I'm covered. I got my patron business already settled. <laughs> yeah, this is just like extra patron. Queens, it's like so patron front. Oh. All right. All right. <laughs> Dusty. All right, all right, all right. The implications. <laughs> all right. We doing shout outs. Yeah, we doing shout outs, <laughs> Dusty. Uh huh. Yeah, we gotta stop screaming. I, <laughs> Do we? In know? my heart and soul, I'm gonna keep screaming. However, I am Dusty or Elegant Feather Duster. Uh, you can find me places like Instagram where I post a lot of cosplay stuff, uh, Twitter as Just Elegant Feather because there's a character limit, Meh. Uh, where I post updates about my Twitch channel, uh, which is Elegant Feather Duster. Uh, lately, I am back on my nonsense streaming the first Horizon Zero Dawn on Friday nights, uh, although I'm real fucking hyped for the sequel. What up? And that's me. Kai. Yeah, there's metal dinosaurs in the sequel. It's true. Yeah. Metal dinosaurs in the first one, too. I don't know anything about it. Uh, <laughs> my beer most of the time. Uh, yes, I will be here for Friday for the Cowboys. Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday for the Cowboys. Cowboy cow cow cosplay and stuff. Pew pew. Nick. That's it. I feel like, like what's that? <laughs> um. Oh my God. My we're on some other shit tonight. Uh. Hi on Owl Fumes. I'm Vic or Vicious Frockery. I make things and stuff on the internet. Uh. Mostly on Instagram and Twitter, where I am Vicious Frockery. Right now, I am working on Vicar Amelia from Bloodborne. Uh. It's a really nasty monster build, and I have to make myself into a furry this week. Please stay tuned. Uh. If you'd like a free pattern, I released a free one on my Kofi today, so you can go on all my social medias and check that out. Come back on Thursday. Send tweet. <laughs> Yeehaw. 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 Nat. Hi. <laughs> I'm Natalie. Shield maiden or shield maiden <laughs> cosplay across all platforms. The shield with two eyes. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram at zelman.arts, where I post my ceramics and that kind of stuff. Hopefully I'll be updating my ceramic shop soon with more of these like springtime floral botanical things. And also some cool D&D tankards coming up. Uh, yeah. I, I, I like make it's... choices with a capital C. The, it's very good Jim that I, that <laughs> cup also looks like it's all eyes from here. I, I know it's flowers, but... It, it, from a distance, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Honestly, Ooh. I would take a mug covered in eyes. Like a yeah. Mug. Nine, I'll take note of that for Nine next October. Them. Uh-huh. Yep. 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 Or next Halloween series, just just eyes, eyes everywhere. Just eyes. Oops, yeah. oops, yeah. All, eyes. all eyes, all eyes, all eyes. <laughs> just like my username. <laughs> and this campaign in like two weeks, but it's oops, all warlocks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, but your patron is like a very friendly dog that just. Okay, you, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm listening work. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, <works. Okay>. Badani. <laughs> I actually kind of want to talk about that now. Like, that's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Bodoni, Bodoni Cosplay, Bodoni Italic, uh, across all the places and the things. I'm here, just constantly getting traumatized. So come back Thursday for cowboy trauma and then watch Dusty stream on Friday and then come back next week to figure out how the hell we're getting out of this dungeon and follow up to that. What the hell, Annabelle? Oh my. 
<laughs> I would be very concerned if Scotty actually knew what was going on, but she's just like, yeah, that's all I got. I've just been sitting here the entire episode going, get to the long rest. Long get rest, to the long, long rest, 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 long rest, long rest. Long rest. <laughs> rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi, I'm Dr. Psych Owl. Uh, you can find me at all the places and things as Dr. Psych Owl, except for on Twitter, where I'm Dr. Psych Owl TV because I missed it by one day. But like the actual Dr. Psych Owl is pretty cool. So, um, anywho, uh, yeah, I have been the DM this evening where I've made the players feel things whether they wanted to or not. No, choke my heart rate is still up. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was shaking. No, honestly, my, my I was shaking the entire time. Thing. I was crying. You know, just like real <laughs> fucking well done. This was a great episode. Yeah. <laughs> like this was beautiful. Thank like, you. My whole it was great. body is like, I've got the anxiety nerve <laughs> going uh -huh. right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm sweating. I Anywho, yes. Okay. Flames on the sides of my face. <laughs> Flames. <laughs> heaving, heaving breaths. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, <laughs> on, on that note, yes, like everyone has said, come back on Thursdays for our cow pal game. Come back on Monday to see what happens. Uh, and then again on Friday for Darkness Rising. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna go raid dorsius it's his first <gasps> day back streaming in a heckin long time so let's go I give dorsius that. all the love uh he's playing some halo infinite so yeah so we love you all and we'll see you next time Bye bye